you know, I've, <laughs> I've joked before that one of these days I'm going to so totally commit to that bit and just see like, what's going to happen if I just do that just for just like, don't stop. You know what I mean? And it, like, I wonder if it's possible to do it so long that like you look over and the viewers are just a goose egg. <laughs> People are like, I'm out of here. <laughs> How we doing? I'll tell you how I'm doing. Uh, getting the day started right. Went on a walk this morning with my buddy Dibble Dop. And then came home, got the dogs all ready. Remember, it's Tuesday, you guys. Got to remind me uh, in, a, in about in a little bit. Oh, my God. Look at that emote of that. I've seen that. Look at that emote of the, the little white dog just headbanging. I've seen that before. They, uh, I think it was like they had to do it like that, like to the tr the soundtrack of Cypress Hill, Insane in the Membrane, I think. That is one of the cutest little gifts I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So we'll step out of our Kevin Bubbles for Lone Refrigerator, Jimmy, Mad Eye, Dugan. Need a little sip here. Bring the mic down up a little bit. Bring that down. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. How we doing, everybody? <laughs> Panda, that's not a bad idea. Did you guys hands up if you saw the episode today? You see it? Why not? Uh, I didn't come out that long ago. But it was a fun one. I mean, they're all fun ones. These people are great. Moon Elf Gamer with a tier one. Scribble, 19 months. Ailey Rosa, seven months. You are amazing. Matt Hatter with a 36 months. Pallid White, 13 months. Just fell out of my chair trying to open the stream. So happy to see you on Hermitcraft. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pallid White. Sailor Cat, seven months. What is that? Lontas Gilda? Lon, Lon, Lontas Gilda. I never know stuff. I don't know if I said it right. Probably not. Uh, that's a new prime sub. Get some new sub emotes going for Lontas Gilda. Dream Urchin, 100 biddies. Skids, you big beauty. Drop them by to leave you some love. Was my 30th on Saturday, so haven't been on much between then and now. It was your 30th. Well, happy birthday. Birthday. You, yo. Why you birthday? It's all about uh, really like changing the dynamic of the delivery. Sometimes it's cute. Actually, it's always cute. Sometimes it's funny, but if you get angry, it's like intense. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, we have Peter Petra. That's P.O.P. to you. P.O.P.? Uh, 11 months of the skiz, just one more month. And I'll be here. Am I losing my mind? What is this, a different Peter Petra? Did you take the P.O.P. off? I don't I don't believe we had a meeting about that. Hey, Rem, 10 months. How the time flies. Indeed, it does. KC, the 200 biddies. Timmy Caps with a new Prime sub. Little Boot Duke. 21 months. I first found Hermitcraft in Afghanistan and it kept me sane during some crazy times. Eventually it led me to the skiz and now you're on Hermitcraft. Your videos are uh, the only ones I truly look forward to watching. Wow. Keep up the amazingness. Well, that's a really nice thing to hear. I mean, it genuinely is, but uh, there's a lot of great Hermitcraft videos out there. I just got to put it out there. Got to put it out there. 73 Robin gifted a sub there. Thank you so much. And why did that gifted sub not show up on my feed? Hmm? This is what I'm talking about. I get so worried about missing stuff. I get worried. Okay, hand me about it. All right, so here, what are we going to do? Uh, well, we're going to do some stuff. That's, I mean, that's, I mean, we know at least that much is true. Today's all about doing stuff. Um, remember, when we hear the barking, that means that the pool guy's officially here. So we need to, you know what I mean? Will I collab? Will I do a call? I will absolutely collab with either. We don't have anything set up at the moment, but of course. Of course I would. He's uh he's great. He is great. Okay, so who's on? Who do we got? We got Zed, XB, Corrales, False, and X. All right, so here's what I want to do. There's a couple different things I want to do. First of all, we got to start the opening clip of the next episode. Now, this is where I'm kind of torn. Okay, let me let me uh let me have a, a, a moment of honesty with you guys. Uh, I, I said at the end of today's video that it's going to be 
if you haven't seen it we got some spoilers so we added another layer there even though remember this whole thing's going to eventually become pearly white at the top but we have to keep in mind that like this first layer here is like not even 20 percent done i just want to put that on there so it's easier to put a roof on there so i can make it dark and dank inside and and uh get in the mood for what it is i want to be doing you know spooky nerd 12 months uh so here's the deal so i said at the end of the video that i'm gonna be i'm leaving on thursday and be gone for for a couple weeks right two or three weeks so it feels weird to start a video knowing i'm not gonna really necessarily be able to get back at it uh, uh for a while however i figure it's okay because i'm gonna i'm planning on taking my laptop with me and at least being able to grind while I'm there. And maybe, I don't know, maybe stream, maybe record. I can't get the quite the same quality, you know? What's on my mug? This, wait, this is a Kevin Bubbles Moon refrigerator Jimmy Man I do can mug. Um, this is my pup. This is my this is my dog. If you're new to Kevin Bubbles, come on, focus. Is it not focusing? I might as well show you his face. This is Kevin Bubbles. Let me let me turn on this ring light. Hold on. Okay. Now you're gonna get a glare on it, but. That's Kevin Bubbles Mullen Refrigerator, Jimmy Matt I Dugan. Uh, that is my, I have five dogs and you shouldn't play favorites, but he is my favorite. And look at, this is him as a puppy. All right, so here's the deal. This picture, you can see how he's all wet. This is because my wife was in the pool with a drink and he tried to take a little sip out of it and he fell in the pool. Um, so the thing about Kevin Bubbles is, so my wife and I, we do a lot of, if you're new, if you're relatively new to me, you're gonna learn some stuff. My wife and I foster dogs and we've had a hand, a couple failures where we just can't get rid of them. And uh, this one here, this is an interesting one here because at the time that Kevin Bubbles came into my life, we had, uh, we were fostering six dogs. Well, actually we signed up to foster three. We have, we own five already. We signed up to foster, well, we owned four at the time. We signed up to foster three. Uh, but we got six, knowing that we were going to have to hold on to all six for just a couple of days before this other family would take the other three to foster, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to tell you this right now. The the batch that we had before that, something bad happened. Like, not even, I, I can't even say bad, actually. It was just, just um, biology or whatever you want to call it, right? It was one of the puppies had this, like, um, like an extra dew claw. And they had to like surgically remove it, but they did such a terrible job. I, I don't like, I'm still upset about this because it was just, it was such a butcher job. So we're trying to take care of that paw. So I had to clean that wound for days, this little puppy. And when I would clean it, the puppy would squeal and it just broke my heart. I hated it, but I was, but that's what it was, right? So we had to keep this, this puppy's arm or this wound from the removal of the extra dew claw. We had to uh, keep it as clean as possible. So I would sanitize it with peroxide, I put Neosporin on it just and, and wrap it and the puppy would squeal. And it was just so hard, okay? And then that puppy finds a great home and we take in six dogs, six puppies. This is one of them. This is years ago. This is one of them. And he has this weird limp, okay? He has this weird limp. That I'm like, what is going on? And my wife's like, we're only gonna have, we're only gonna foster three of these six. We're fostering all six for a few days. And I pointed at the, at Kevin Bubbles while he was limping, and I said, get that dog out of my house. I said, we cannot foster that dog, because if I have, I my heart is still healing from having to torture the previous puppy to repair the surgical wound. If this dog's got some sort of defect, it has to be some other foster parent's like responsibility once, and. Uh, so then I, I left, went like I, you know, went to work or whatever. I came back and we're down to three dogs and he's among them. I'm all, what is going on here? And, and my wife's like, well, the, you know, the, the woman who runs the organization, she said that, um, I think they, she said like, uh, the fan, oh, I know what it was. The woman who runs the organization lives pretty close to us. And if there is something wrong with them, she'll like, she'll take them to the vet or whatever. And I'm like, okay. But then my wife just massaged his leg out. It was like this limp he had for no reason and he got over it. And then I could not, I mean, I just absolutely fell in love with this dog like you cannot believe. And that is my Kevin Bubbles Malone refrigerator, Jimmy Mad I Dugan. He is the best. That's the story of Kevin. It's so hard bringing animals back to health because they don't understand that the pain is gonna, I agree. Yeah, my dogs think I'm torturing them when we clip their nails. 
they're like i don't know i don't know what answers you want for me but all right um actually here's what i want to do today so there's a couple things one actually i might as well record a clip here yeah i'm gonna record a clip let's record it let me think though that's i'm gonna keep that out of it i'll talk about that okay let's record a clip real quick okay quiet on the set we gotta do quiet on the set real quick look at all these subs coming in msn with the tier one nine months Slap seven months, Wither Wings, 36 months, Ready Crumb and Lazy Dutches. We got two new subs. You guys are amazing. When is he coming on stream? You know, it's funny. I would love to have a bed in here and have a Kevin cam on him so I could have him in a little corner. I would totally do that. The reason I can't do that right now is because I, if I don't brush him every 20 minutes, the amount of hair that comes off him is unreal. And if that gets into my computer, I'm in serious Marnie and it will get into my computer because it's got no front. Yeah, that's a true story. So I'm actually thinking about when I get my new computer, I'm considering having it in a different room entirely and just running all the cables over here. And then I can have a Kevin cam. Don't you think that'd be neat? Uh, all right, we're gonna pause the musical for just a second. And we're gonna do, we're gonna pause alerts. Look at this, man, you guys are amazing. Lost Cold Game and Sub to Mumbo. Enjoyed the video today and I cannot wait for Doc's response to it. I know it's going to be a good one. Can you guys hear them barking? I can't record if they're barking. You hear it? Check. Yeah, you can hear them. Gosh darn it. Okay. It's not going to happen. I mean, I'll, I'll record the opener in a little bit uh, after the pool guy leaves. Because those dogs, they know how to bark, man. Okay. They know how to bark. Um, I am going to want to get some black concrete because I think what I'm going to want to do eventually for the entry of um, the physiological layer, I think what I'm going to want to do is have this water here. We're going we're to plug that up, have this water split, and then it goes into like a dark cave right there. Yeah. How can I do that? And, and who took my beacon? Huh? Who took my beacon? Where is my beacon? And I can't record with them barking down there. Spooky near it, happy birthday. Birthday. You, yo, why you birthday? You noticed that in the video? Yeah. Did MP take it? Okay, that's that's okay. That that's not taking my beacon then. That's borrow that's using our beacon. We got that together. I swear I should just go get, I should get, should, should I just go after Wither Skulls? This is making me crazy. I cannot believe I'm still like, I've, I've killed, I think I'm still at 130. Like if you guys are new to skiz, check this out. See this? I've killed 112 skit, a skill. Oh, uh, I've killed 112 and I have not one skull. Not one, not one. And the worst part is the sword I'm holding has killed 113. It just so happened on that one swing that Impulse took with my sword, he got a skull. So that's great. So I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. I do want, I do want the stuff though, man. Okay, first things first, I'm the realist. I'm gonna repair this and we're gonna, let's, I got eight XP. The thing is, I can't really get started on what I want to do until I can record my opening clip, and I can't record my opening clip until the dogs start barking, and they won't stop barking until the pool guy's gone. <laughs> Look at this. Joe says, I got three kills and 40. I got three skulls and 40 kills. You shut up. Oh, this is the worst. Okay. Let's make it. Let's make another. Uh, let's make another. Let's see if we can just repair this real quick. I, you know what? Here's the deal. Let me tell you a little something. Have I made, you know, uh, creeper stuff? I'm not, I'm sorry, villager stuff in the past to where I can, uh-oh, oh, hold on. Assistant sleep master. I'm way over here. This is very irresponsible. I didn't carry a bed on me. Oh, somebody took my job. That's okay. That's on me. Who was it? Corellis, you son of a... Um, what was I just talking about? Heck was, oh, I know what it was. Um, okay. 
So I've I know I I'll say assistant to the sleep master when I'm around him. But now if I'm gonna really channel Dwight Schrute, then I am the assistant sleep master, which is the same thing. And then he has to say, no, it's not. It's lower. Um, all right, so let me grab this guy here. So here's the deal. I've made the villager trading before and it's helpful and it's quick and all that. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm like enjoying, for some reason, I'm really enjoying the whole like using diamonds to repair your stuff. And I, I don't know what's, it won't last forever, people. Trust me on that. It will not last forever. I'm going to get sick of this, but for the time being, I'm kind of liking it. I'm liking being connected to the earth and riding shingles around, which by the way, almost ready to rename him back to glue stick still got some pain but it is subtle that was a rough few weeks there man and let's get let's get some food while the dogs are barking oh and we're gonna need some i need ink because oh, i gotta hello okay so it's looting so i got what i got three out of that let's go and what's nice about having the sword of the fire aspect, the second you slice the fish, it's cooked. That's what I'm talking about. Is there a Mr. Joker? What's up, buddy? <laughs> you know, let me tell you a little dynamic that I got with Bob, with Mosul Bob. Bob is an extremely helpful person with the emotes and the looking out for me and the heads up and the ideas. Bob's great, but it comes with a price. <laughs> you gotta get static. It is deserved. I know that. Holidays, two months. Human, human. With a new prime sub, you're amazing. Dirty pancakes. <laughs> Can we talk about that? That name is Dirty Pancakes. With the 420 says, Hi, Skiz, love your content ever since you joined Hermitcraft. Recently passed my commercial pilot license uh, check ride, and your content has helped me through all the stress. That is amazing. That's a big deal. What's up, Mr. Joker? That's a very big deal. My, um, one of my good buddies uh, was is, is a pilot. And he, and I don't, I don't know if it's referred to as commercial because it's like he flies pretty decent sized plane that seats like uh, 20 to 40 people, I believe. Very impressive stuff. And, um, but it's not like he flies for Southwest or anything. So it must be like, like private, right? Gosh, guys, did I ever tell you the story? Uh, so where I work, um, let me see. I, don't, I do want to start keeping a little bit quieter, but where I where I work, um, we have our own jet. All right, big company. We have several of them, okay? And what that means is that we have actually our own little airports and whatever. So, and I very rarely, for a while there, I had to use it like relatively frequently. But so back before, once COVID hit, it got ridiculously hard to like book it, right? Um, in fact, they closed the program down for a while and then now it's back. I mean, when, once it came back, then it was hard to get approval. Whereas before, it was, oh my God, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, we got the, oh my God. So anyways, so I will say this. I, I didn't really get, need to use it that often, but when I did, it was nice to have it. Right. But you have to keep in mind that this private jet, we can only fly certain places. It wasn't like I can go wherever I want and I didn't use it for personal use. It was for work, obviously. Right. And, um, yeah, we got a salmon head. Yep. Uh, so if I had to go to one of my other offices, there it was, if I had to set up an event that was in a adjacent area, then I would use it then. But the bottom line is this. Okay. I so let's just call it what it is. When I was using that private jet, um, I got, I, I may or may not have gotten kind of used to it. <laughs> I will say this. It wasn't like this big, beautiful thing with, you know, like a, a wet bar or anything, but it was, it was a nice jet. And it was, you know, I, when I would walk down to get to my seat, I had to like tilt my head because it was that small and I'm that tall anyways. So I got used to it. Okay. I got used to it and I liked it. You want to know what I liked it? Cause I would park my car like in, like right in front of the lobby of the, of the airport. And it would just, that's where I parked my car and I walk in and there'd be, and I, in, in my, my entry was my work badge and I would, there'd be 
just coffee and donuts and fruit waiting and whatever. It was, it was cool. It's nice. It was, you know, it made you feel good. It made you feel like all the work you put in to, in college and your career and all that, like building it up. It just felt like, you know, maybe I did it. This is pretty cool. So it felt good and I got used to it. Okay. You got it, right. I got the point across. We fast forward the clock and many years later, I'm on yet another regular commercial um, bound flight. Getting a lot of fish heads here. Uh, with my wife and my daughter, because we have to travel. This is back before she was in college and we had to go. We were always traveling for her games, right? A lot. And we had to go. We were back at the airport and were we traveling for that? I don't remember what we were doing. But anyways, we were traveling. And I, I don't, I don't like the general airport. I don't like the public. I just don't. You would think I do because I'm like a nice, kind of a nice guy or whatever, but I just, the, the crowds, I don't like the crowds. I don't like waiting in line. I don't like taking off my shoes. Airports are the worst. I don't like it. Airports weren't always the worst. If you, if you, let me just say I'm an old man. And if you can remember airports prior to 9-11, it was a very, very different story. They were actually, you know, you could, it was a different gig. It's a different, but it's, it's different now. So. Anyways, I don't like taking off my shoes. I don't like doing any of that. I don't like waiting in line. Yeah. And uh, I was, I, I don't think I was complaining. I don't think I was complaining too much, but we're waiting in line to get on the plane. Okay, we're gone through security. We're waiting in line. And I said something that must have sounded complainy. And my daughter says, loud, by the way. My daughter says, yeah, sorry, dad. I'm, I'm sorry we can't, you know, hop on a ride on your private jet. And uh, this guy she says, like, it must be hard to deal with the public now that you're so used to your private jet. And this guy in front of me, like, turns around and looks. And I'm all, it's not, it's, and I look at him. I'm all, it's not my jet. <laughs> I'm all, it's my works jet. And she's like, I can't believe you think that's different. I'm all, that's way different. And this guy just starts laughing because my, it was, my daughter's got an awesome sense of humor, dude. And it was so funny. And this guy just starts cracking up. And I'm like, you're making me look really, really bad right now. <laughs> Is that funny? I'm glad to see you're live. I just finished up recipe cost cards for school. I don't know what that means, but let me... What does that mean? Is that is that almost like a home ec type class where you're like learning what it is to budget for certain meals and stuff? I freaking love hearing kids talk about being a dad. Oh man, I got lots of stories to tell you that. Speaking of which, uh, we're actually, I'm leaving Thursday to go see my daughter. I'm very, very excited. Haven't seen her in, what are you coming up on now? A couple months? Oh, I hate it. I hate to even think about it, but we're going to go and it's going to be great. Then I'm going to go on a cruise with the wife. Then we're going to watch more of my daughter's games. We're going to be traveling with my wife's parents. I, I will say this too. I am, I am very blessed because I have a great relationship with my in-laws. I love them very, very much. And that whole dynamic started off not great. And for good reason. Um, for, for good reason. You can do the math. I have a 25-year-old son. Uh, so you can do the math. So it started off not great. And that's in, for, in good reason. But time goes by and uh, we are just very, very tight now. They know that there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. I was too handsome for him. That is not, let me be very, very, very clear here. I have, I have, uh, we, my wife and I are mismatched. We are very mismatched. <laughs> Looks wise. She's an absolute knockout and I'm this and that's okay. That's a flex. That's a flex when, uh, when you know, kick your coverage like that. All right, let's. I don't hear any barking. Is is the, the the guy? Is he done already? No way. Nooch. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Is the music okay, or is it a little too loud? Oh, gotcha, Junks. Ba, 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 ba. Bump. 
repetitive all right let's get in there sweep a bit lower let's do it i'm gonna lower the music in just a tick here oh you know what i wonder if i can do this can i bring there we go let's do that bring you down here keep the game sounds up that's good that's a good that's a good dynamic right there Bum, 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 bum. All right, we got a, got a good amount of fish here. I really think I should go maybe get some skulls. The dogs are still barking. Maybe we try to go get some skulls. Huh? Should we do it? I don't know. Should I do it or not? I think I'm just that convinced I'm going to end up dying just trying to get to the place because I, I, I'm just so bad and get lost in stuff. Look at all these fish heads. That's not what I need. I need that. I mean, I need skulls. I got a squid head. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That horn. Is the gem over there somewhere? I got to get a hold of that horn, dude. I got to get a hold of it. Every time, dude. There's gem. I don't see her, but I see her in chat. Bust not the oh my god, love torturing you from my face. Yeah, that's yeah, Gem is is even more OP than ever. All right, so let me think. All right, so here we go. Uh, do I want to go get? I wonder. I wonder if Gem wants some skulls. If she wants some, she should come with me because I'm apparently the luck charm. I'm gone. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go see. We're just gonna walk over to the Nether real quick. I'm going. I'm going to the nether. I'm doing it. And by the way, I, here's the deal, guys. I still have not built my own portal. I'm using impulses. I'm doing it because I just don't trust. I don't trust that I'm going to not break everything, man. You know what I mean? I don't. I suck at portal mechanics, and I just don't trust that I'm not gonna. I'm gonna not break it. <laughs> right? I don't want to be that guy. All right. So there we go. I didn't bring any uh, gold. I'm smart. Okay, shit. Do I want to do this? I don't know if I want to do this or not. I really don't know if I want to do this or not. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over there, right? It's over here, right? I know. I didn't bring any gold. I didn't bring any gold. I better not die. I don't have time to be dying. Okay, we're going down now. Okay, don't die. Did I bring gold? No. What if I wear a fish head? Maybe if I wear a fish head, they'll... Uh... And I didn't even bring a, a bow and arrow. This is reckless and foolish. And I should not... I should stop right now. I don't think I should do this. People upset with me already. Look at that little guy. Better not die. Don't don't tell your parents. Ah! I'm gonna leave. <laughs> well, that was short lived. Besides, I think the pool guy's finishing up, and I want to go back to work. <laughs> Hold on. I don't like running from stuff. I'm gonna take this guy on. Come on, Skiz. Let me at least beat this guy up and then I'll go. Hey, hey, Cletus, that guy. If I can kill that guy, then I'll leave. I just need to know I didn't run away from the fight. Come here, Cletus. Come here. Here, watch this. Oh, good shot. What's up? All right, good. That's all I want to do. I just want to take him on. Anybody mad about what I just did? I don't think so. That is such a dangerous thing right there. It looks like I'm coming up. Looks like I came up anyways. I don't need you guys popping down on me like that, you know. Oh, 
What am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I? Why do I? Why do I do these things? You know why I'm here? Because I shouldn't be. That's that's literally why I'm here. Because I should not be here. I don't think I. I don't. All right, that's enough. I'm getting sidetracked. I wanted a stimulus, so I did this. I'm going back home. I have work to do. We have work to do. I'll come get skulls another day. I just did not want to run away from that fight. You know what I mean? Where is where where's I forget I, I've been to the, the stronghold I'm not the stronghold. I've been to the fortress how many times and I forgot it's like over there, isn't it? I just haven't come in a while, so my brain purges stuff like you cannot believe. We want to cheer you on, yeah. Yeah, because it, it would be good to get another beacon. Alright, how about this? How about this? Maybe we get some gold. Right? Maybe we get some gold and we go try to do this. Maybe. It's a pretty big maybe. There's a better tunnel now. Down the stairs. Then behind you, a tunnel. What? That goes right to it? Let's go check it out. Yeah, get go. Let me go get my bow. I'll put if I put on some gold boots and I put on and I grab my bow, I'm gonna feel a lot better about this. So let's go do that. Let's go see if I can find my arrows. I did not plan on doing this, but now with my beacon gone, I, I want, I want, I really think maybe we should have another beacon. Is Ren selling beacons? What fun is that? I, I go, I leave now. I'm getting sidetracked. I have a job to do. Let me see if the pool guy is gone. No, I, I, this is not even about getting a beacon. This is about getting one wither skull. Like I have to get this off, off my mind. <laughs> right? It's making me crazy, man. It's not oh cool. My God. Oh, gemstone. Uh, <laughs> she knows she loves the power. Ren learned two punch chicken. I, th I think I did see that Zed's on. Uh, not anymore. Maybe I was wrong. All right, let me find my bow. It should be easy because I kept things nice and organized. I'll take these spectral arrows. I like that. I'm really proud of myself for staying organized. Now, it is not bad up here, you know. Oh, it's still pretty bad. The Baked Messiah with the tier one six months. Thank you so much for that. Husky, the 100 biddies. Secret agent skiz confirmed. Go, because of the jet. <laughs> I got a DNR here. I'll read it. It says DNR, but your choice. This is from Steve Say Sullivan, your face. And it says, so I was in a Twitch chat. Someone was advertising their channel and I couldn't help thinking that wouldn't happen in my chat over at twitch.tv forward slash S-T-E underscore says. Uh, you heard it here, folks. Upbeat killer 100 bitties. Thank you so much. Skiz, does your kelp farm lose water sources? It does not. If two uh, kelp side by side grow at the same, oh, oh, if they grow at the same time. So I, I brought that up when we were talking about the design. I said, so the only way we're going to lose is if they grow at the same exact time. And we were like, yeah, we'll cross that bridge or they'll, it'll end up being self-fixing. So the answer is, I, it, yes, it could, but it's just, that's, should be rare. We'll have to relook at that. Yeah. And a girl with 100 biddies. Hey, Skiz, just had to give my two weeks for my current job and felt really anxious about it. My new job is exciting, but I feel guilty for leaving before my contract ends. Do you have any advice? Uh, well, uh, to, so you, you want advice about leaving? Well, you know, I don't know. It's hard to answer that because I don't know the full dynamics of what that contract entailed, right? So 
it, it's it, it says a lot about your character that it bothers you at all for to you know to do something like that that's actually in my opinion that's a pretty big deal that you care at all you know but you're you gotta you gotta you gotta take care of yourself you know what i mean like it, it depends on how taxing it was it depends on your i'm not gonna i can't just say here's how you don't feel bad about it because i don't know um but you just you got how about this they're gonna be fine <laughs> The business you left is going to be fine. There we go. Mending. That's I want this one. Power four. I'm breaking three. That's the one I want. Okay. All right. So we have this fella here. I hate it when that happens. Did you guys see that? Like sometimes I just click and it just minimizes. All right. Let's get some gold. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Okay. I'm going I'm to leave me pants here. Okay. I guess we'll, we'll. Oh, wait a minute. Fire protection four. I'm taking this. Um. Let's, let's just do some gold shoes. Come on. What do I have on my helmet? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so check it out, everybody. Are you watching? We're, we're doing it. I'm going to go in. You guys made me do it. Okay? You made me do it. I'm taking this with me, too. You made me do it. Oh, my God. We're good. <laughs> awesome. Mama of two cubs with the prime sub. Five months, you're amazing. Happy to see you on Hermitcraft. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. See Joe with the 100 biddies. As someone who studied Chandler Bing in order to be funny, I appreciate how much you how much respect you have for Matthew Perry. Thank you, Skiz. You're amazing. You know, takes a few tries to learn the stream delay. She's getting it locked in. I can't believe for the first time ever, I'm actually begging for draw packets. Um, go ahead. Here, here we go. Let's let let's test. Let's test. Uh, gems timing. Okay, I want to hear. Oh my God, on the count of five. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five. Go. So I'll do nice and slow. You can get ready. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Go. Oh my hey, God. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad. Clap it. That is pretty good. <laughs> Jem, well done. That was really good. Oh my gosh. I did not expect it to be that good. That was really, really impressive. Oh boy. You know what's crazy? So uh, Impulse and I, we do, um, we're also over on Glimpse and we have a, uh, like a private uh, Glimpse thing that we do for our podcast. We call it the 3PGS, the pre podcast the private the the private pre podcast group stuff i don't remember what it stands for but it's neat and um we uh we do this and uh we use that glimpse thing and i, I gotta tell you the other day i said something during it so basically what it is is we it's basically a, a group of people that sort of hang out with us like this um before we record right and um it's a part of the glimpse like if you're part of the glimpse support, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I said something and they reacted in chat like super quick. I'm all, what the? And I said, okay. And I said, I'm going to say a number. The second I say that number, I want you guys to type it back. So get your fingers over the number pad. And I'm like, seven, 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 seven. It was like that fast. I was like, what in the world? It was so impressively fast. Like, you guys are doing it. Actually, that was pretty fast. <laughs> it was really impressive. So I, but I know that there's a slight delay here. So I'm very impressed with Jem. Uh, that she just nailed it. Okay, here we go. We're going. Well, we are. Where's my bow? Okay. Okay, got the bow. I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a, uh, a shield. Why would I? Okay, let me, let me just see what, Bob, I'm going, I'm only going to check to see what Bop is talking about. There's a tunnel down here. Is that what I'm hearing? Behind the stairs. What, this here? I know. I should have brought a shield for Blaze, and I didn't. Not this one. Okay, good. Isn't it amazing? I'm like, Bop, where do I go? Bop seems to know. I'm enjoying my sabbatical. I am. It's it's going by too quick. I did not enjoy being sick 
uh, with shingles for the first couple weeks of it. That's no good. Uh, it's got to be over there. It's got to be your bowl. Um, but I am enjoying it, and I'm trying to slow down. I'm trying to pace myself a little bit, and I'm really looking forward to the, the true time off I'm going to be having here, right? Skiz, the podcast supporters are beans. Look at this scooter, scooter pops. I had shingles on my 30th birthday. It was not good. It hurts, doesn't it? I hate it. I hate it. Why did I bring so many good tools with me? Why did I bring so many good tools with me? All right, let's see what we're doing here. This is, this feels like it's much better. Although I don't see any of the previous torches. We're all good beans. <laughs> if this brings me right to the fortress, I am extremely grateful for whoever put together this tunnel. And I don't know if you guys saw. Ooh. Huh. Bob says, watching Hermits has become my job somehow. <laughs> um... Well, this is really cool. This is super cool. Yeah. Up. Oh. Right, hold on. Um, so we got to do, let me go. Can you get out of the way? That would be super. Uh, okay, we don't talk about Fight Club. Careful in there. Okay. So, oh, this is just for this purpose. This they made it this like super easy for me. Can you go away? You're really go go away. <laughs> Dummy. All right, guys, let's get a skull, please. Uh, this is they made it really easy for me to get my skull and break the curse. I'm very grateful for this. Getting a lot of junk. That's for true. Oh, the curse is broken! <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, the curse is officially broken. It is broken. Let's get some mo. Give me some mo. Oh, that's good news, man. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. That's ridiculous. It happened. Clip it. All right. Well, you know, since I'm here, I might as well get a few more. The problem is these idiots are going to cause a problem. I know it. Okay. And that's the point of this, uh, the track here so that we can unload and reload. I just now figured it out. Yeah, you know what? Should we do that, dude? Should we listen to the bop song while we do this? I think I'm going to kill this fella here and then use this track. I can understand why it's here now. I don't have smite. Really? Guys, come on. Oh, dude, I thought that was a skull. Okay. I'll come with you, okay? By the way, I'm going to kill you down there, dude. Did you know that? It's going to happen. Well, I can't do it next to your buddies. Man, get out of my cart. Those guys are going to come in here all mad. And I'm going to die. Yeah, I know you guys are upset. Oh, boy. You really came at me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh I didn't think about that to be all these stupid little kids. Get out of here. Uh-oh. No. No. Come here. Uh-oh. Oh! All right, hold on. All right. Are you guys mad? You're mad too? I better eat something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. God, that was like a kindergarten outbreak. Are you mad at me, dude? You mad, bro?
All right. All right, everybody, just be cool, man. Ooh. Look at this guy. Are you wearing a gas head? That guy's wearing a gas head. All right, now this guy over here is also upset. Why don't you pop into that cart, buddy? What are you going to do about it? Huh? Nothing. I'm on this side, homie. You got nothing. Stop. Ah! He is wearing a gas head. And you're, you're extra ugly. Okay, I'm going back. I want to get more of the skulls. And I need to fix this little nightmare I made. I was, I didn't anticipate the stupid little kids. Uh oh, how many of you are there? Like, what am I gonna have to deal with here? Just one. Oh my gosh. These guys are really bothering me. How many of you are in there, dude? Okay. You get into. Huh. Huh. That's not good. Now I'm getting shot at. This is a rough start. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go far away to. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave. Maybe these guys can chill out, huh? Just a thought. Okay, you all just 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 everybody just calm down, have a donut, and relax. All right, we go now. Yeah, I should have wrote it. Oh, I was worried if I wrote it back that there'd be like a... Okay, are you mad? Are you mad? Huh? Are we cool? Okay, we're cool. Okay, I really like this. Okay, they're, they've got to be not so mad now, right? Anybody here mad? You guys always look mad. Okay, I go now. Wait, do I have no helmet? <gasps> That's what <laughs> I forgot I took that off. Oh, I am a genius. Dude, we got a skull, dude. The curse is broken, everybody. It's broken. I think that's pretty super. And we did it. What was it like the second, the third, the third one we killed? Skiz, we love you. Never change. I don't think I could change if I wanted to. Because a lot of my humor comes from me acting dumb. Okay, let me go over here. Okay, but it's if it's charged. I'm confused. Like, shouldn't that? Oh, it's not. It's not. I thought it was on for some reason. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. You want some more? Dude, watch my sword just be the best ever. You know what's funny? You guys didn't see Tango come in here, did you? He didn't throw a skull at my feet, right? I'm like, I'm like, have PTSD now. That's right. Fifth element. I got one, Trev. I got one. It's like the third kill. Let's go. Come here, buddies. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Come on, Kalidus. Who's mad? What? Oh, dang it. Here they come again. What the heck? I didn't hit anybody. Come on, guys. Okay, this part kind of sucks. I think maybe I need to start using an axe with looting. Are you guys able to hit me through the wall? Look at this idiot. Oh, you guys are making this really difficult, man. Oh, now here comes the stupid little kid. Get out of here. Although I do like that this like sort of... Ah! What are you mad about? That I, that I hit your nephew? <laughs> I want you to take a seat. Okay, this is... I don't know why I'm pushing it like this, but... Oh my... You guys, there's too many of you. Okay, this is starting to get on my nerves. What is happening? Why are there so many? Stop it. Stop it. 
You stop it right now. Look at this. Look how it's like never ending. I can't even get to. Uh oh, well, that's not good. Hey, jerk. There's too many of them, dude. Like, I don't. Is there like a. They don't have spawners. So what is going on? Why are there so many? Ow. Oh, and a blaze for good measure. Okay. I want to get back to work here. What are you? How'd you get in there? You spawn in there. Ugh. Stupid blaze. I really don't want to die, dude. But I want more. I want more. I want more skelly heads. Ah, oh, dumb blaze. I want more people. Oh! Actually, all I really want to do was break the curse, and we did that. I think I'm going to maybe stop pushing my luck. I can't get in there to fight the skellies when there's so many piggies. And blaze. Oh, oh, where's the thing? I, I take the cart now. Let's do it. Oh, I should bow the bow. I forgot I brought a bow. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to, uh, is, like, see this guy here? Is he mad at me? Are you mad too? Why don't you pop in the cart? Are you mad, bro? Is he mad at me? You seem mad. You seem grumpy. Oh, yeah. You guys are mad. Okay. Hey. Hey, this is risky because uh, I may have to pop out the last second here. Okay, you guys ready? We go. This is risky. It's risky. Let's see what happens here. I'm very grateful for this tunnel. I want to I want to put it out there. Don't shoot at me, Mr. Blaze. Okay, these guys suck. I'm a, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just going to leave. You guys can all just chill out. This is the end. Uh, we got we we broke the curse, people. That's what we set out to do. We broke it, and I'm I'm taking that with me. I got I this is that's we broke the curse, dude. We broke it. I finally got a skull. I started I was starting to entertain that something was fundamentally wrong with the game. I really was getting worried. Like, what is going on? Doors reference. That's right. I should name the skull. Now I'm feeling all like numb to it. I'm going to call it numb skull. Oh, uh, I got to go take care of my dogs. All right. We got to let the dogs back in. All right, let me, let me get back home where it's safe. We got the skull people. We did it. Oh, we broke the curse. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum, up we go. And I think if I'm not mistaken, what, what was that? Was that like my fourth one? Like my, my, like today, which means I had to kill 116 wither skellies to get one skull, but the curse is broken. It's broken. Feels good. All right, we go home now and we get back to work. And once we get safe, I got to let my dogs back out. I just tell you, I love what Impulse did with the gold blocks. Like, it's so obvious which one's his. Who is this? Is this for somebody who's tall? Oh, <laughs> that's Korean. All right, I'm going up. Here we go. It's really quiet, isn't it? All right, so you guys, uh, you guys did see the episode that came out today, yeah? So did you see the bloopers at the end? <laughs> uh, Joel cracks me up, dude. You, you Canadians, <laughs> so funny. That's my last one, isn't it? <laughs> it was fun. Bloopers are always fun to put together. All right, so let's go get safe and then we're gonna go take care of the pups 
just let them out so they can go pee pee and all that good stuff. And uh, and there you have it. So I'm gonna go up here where it's safe ish. I think I should put this skull away. You laughed at the sleeping. <laughs> I'm a giant child. What kind of puppies do I have? I have a red Roddy, which is Kevin Bubbles Malone, refrigerated Jimmy Matty Dugan. He's part, he's part, there's definitely, he's definitely got red Roddy. There's definitely some husky in him. No question. I have uh, a bo part boxer, part whatever, something else. I have another dog that's got some uh, Great Dane in him. I have a little Carn Terrier and I have a, a Chihuahua. That's Chihuahua is a Chihuahua mix. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Oh. All right, let's do this. We're going to talk about all the amazingness in chat, and then we're going to go take care of the dogs. Look at this stuff. D. Johnson with the tier one, 18 months. Pacey Rose, 32 months. Have fun watching your daughter. Sounds like it should be a good trip. It will be. Big Papa House, 10 months. Loving the streams, kids. We enjoy the conversation. Well, thank you. Uh, Tay with the Prime Sub, three months. Enjoying the skid stream as background noise while crafting. Ooh, that's peaceful. Uh, optimistic Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how why that is, but every once in a while, like online handles just they just get me. Like there's there's DJ Diabetic. Uh, what is the one? What is it? DJ Diabetic something. It's actually really. And then look at the Optimistic Pigeon. I don't know why that just tickles me. I love it. it says uh, I'm an electrician by day and help a community uh, theater by night. Would you ever consider doing theater again? Oh my gosh. I think I would. I think I, I, I miss doing theater. I don't know if I still have it in me, but no, I think I do. I think I could. Um, it's a great question. I, uh, I would definitely consider it. The answer is yes. It's yes. I would love to. I, I love theater. I love acting. I just haven't done it in so long, but I would. Breeze and Shadows, 18 months. You're amazing. Gra crafty Barrister with the 200 biddies. Got us gold. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe it. I broke the curse. Ludia, new prime sub. Uh, Mithron, uh, five months. Look at this, man. Fate Serpent, eight months. Real, what's up, real? The 31 months. Mama Shea with the 420 says, Skiz, you need to leave and return to and from the nether to stop the aggro. Yeah, that's what we had. That was the only way to do it. But the curse is broken. That's all I care about. Uh, Zell MC, the tier one, two months. Thank you, Skiz, for all you do. Your Hermitcraft videos have helped me laugh during a very difficult long surgery room waiting room oof all ended good but the wait was hard and you made it easier well thank i'm i'm, I'm glad thank you for telling me that i really that makes me happy uh trip with the prime sub six months <clears throat> arrived tier one you're amazing and rain a girl hunter biddies and then cruxo the jester a new prime sub i love it uh ace with the hunter biddies that guy has a point you were born for theater <laughs> that's very flattering I do. I, I, you know, theater, I, I haven't done tr proper theater since I was a kid. Uh, and it was, you know, I was really young and it was fun, man. Like I don't, it's hard to explain it, man. Like there's something about getting the script and reading your lines and not just memorizing them, but try, doing your best to embody the character. You know, I've always said the best actors aren't acting. If you can become that character there. Oh, look, DJ Diabetic Dawson. There it is right there. I heard my name was called Dawson. I forgot the Dawson part. See, DJ Diabetic Dawson. Respect the shift. Respect the shift. What is that from? It sounds like it's from something. What's my favorite dinosaur? Well, first, uh, 690 from Anonymous. You're keeping me sane during taxis, and I do taxes and accounting for a living. Thank you for all the laughs. Ah, oh, well, God bless you. I'll tell you this right now. This is the last year my wife and I talked. I said, this is it from me? Respect the shift. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I said to my wife, we just did our taxes two days ago, and... Uh, I said to my wife, I, I said, this is it. This is the last year because between her income as a teacher, my income and my career job, and then the, the, the stuff that we do here, uh, is so many different lines. Is it tango? 
What's a tattoo? Somebody just threw, there's a little clip of what this is. It's an ambigram where it says uh, live to create. So it says live to this way. You flip it and it says create. I like it. Oh, I got to go do the dogs. I'll be right back. I get sidetracked. I'm going to do the dogs and then I'm going to play the bop song when I get back. Why would I do it in that order? Because I want to listen to. I'll be back. All right, it's time for the Bob song. It's time for the Bob song, everybody. Just so as you know. Because you can only go so long without listening to Bob. That's all I'm, ta that's all I'm talking about. Okay? So let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. First, we got to do this. If you want it, Let's go. you can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But, but if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no, no friends of mine. Bye. You can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 bop. I love that. Bop, 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 bop. You can bop, 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 bop. Wait. My guy. You can bop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can bop if you want to. <laughs> so you funny to me. Leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 bop. How do you make concrete bop, powder? Bop, bop, bop. You can bop 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 You can bop 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 Perfect. You can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can bop. Can't not sing it. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. All right. You can't just get me started. I think I, I like a little push car, dude. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I actually like that rendition. That was great. <laughs> That's weird. What is <laughs> serious dedication? What is that? And we're done. Is that a is that a netherite hoe? Is that what serious dedication is? Is that a netherite hoe? It is, isn't it? Wow. I was like, serious dedication. I've seen that before. And I remember now, I think I got it because as a joke, I made a netherite hoe and I got that. I'm like, what? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. We have, uh, we got black dye. I, I got, uh, must be downstairs. Found it. Okay. Let's make some black concrete powder. I want to make a good amount. And now I got to go turn this into the good stuff. Which means I got there's like a quick way to do it. And I don't really remember it. So let's just get it done. Let's go over to the water. 
There's something so great. We're going to do an opening clip. Opening clip. It's time. It's nice and quiet. Time for a clip. Quiet. I'll start. Nerdy Flute is with the two months and Newt with the two months. Guys are amazing. Amazing. Have a belly. What's up? Have a belly. All right. Uh, here we go. What episode is this going to be? What is it? Seven? Something like that. Seven. This will be seven. <clears throat> okay. Actually, got a better way to do this. <clears throat> Where did I put it? Right there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, put that on. Okay. Actually, take all this up. It's, it's cooler if you like this. And get get an empty hand. Okay, here we go. Welcome back to Hermitcraft, episode seven. That's right. There's only one thing you should be thinking about is that I got the skull. The curse is broken, people. Check out this clip. So I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy that happened. That is just the, the curse is officially broken and uh, we can move on with our life. <sighs> I didn't know if it was ever going to happen, but here we are. All right, so what are we doing? There's a lot of things to do. I mentioned in the last one that we're going to want to get really started on that, uh, really starting to design this. And I built that top layer so it would be easy to cover it up uh, and, 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 um, and you know what I mean? To cover it up so we can start to make it dark and dank and get that, that feeling going on. So... We're going to really start to work on that. But before that, we're, we're falling down on providing mangrove. So we're going to provide mangrove to the lovely hermits because it keeps getting bought out, which is a good problem to have. And I feel very happy about that. And we need to officially set up our snow shop. Okay. Uh, you guys, that wonderful prank we did last time, which you don't understand, is I had to actually dump all that powdered snow just so I could use the buckets for salmon. So we got we got cleanup to do. We actually got to make a shop. So a lot of things going on. I think what I actually want to do first, just to feel it, is I want to take that little door right there and plug it up. And then I want to have the water stream somehow split over the door here and use this black concrete uh, as the entry. So you're just kind of entering a dark abyss just to get it started. I just want to get that started. So let's see how that, how that turns out. All right, that's a good, that's a good enough clip. Uh, let's go kill that and do this and get the music going and unpause alerts. And we keep going. Optimistic Pigeon with 100 Bitties. Were the shows you were in straight plays or musicals? That's a great question. Uh, so I'm sure everybody understands what that question is, but just to be clear, musicals and straight plays are different, right? Play, plays are just, they're the same thing. One has music, has music and the other one doesn't, meaning like singing and stuff. They were straight plays. Uh, and the reason is because I could not, I couldn't pass. I, I tried out for a lot of musicals. I couldn't make one to save my life because I can't sing for crap. And, and I, it's people think I can sing well now and that's very touching and everything, but really true singing is something different. Not only that, but I was really bad as a kid. However, the very first play I just tried out for just straight play, crushed it. Got it. Like got the part right away. Yeah. So that's neat. And impulse to intervals. Uh, all right, let's get the, um, so mainly it was mainly plays and I miss it very much. I really, really do. And then Heather Rio with the prime sub two months. Thank you so much. Today's my birthday. Can I get a birthday? You, yo, well, let me ask my finger. What do you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday, you, yo, why birthday? Happy birthday. Dibble dop. Got a dibble dop. Did he, did, now did he say something in chat or he's just so cool. All he did was pop onto the server. All they did was pop on the server, huh? That's how cool you are, man. I don't know if you saw my suggestion. You were trying to figure out what to name your something. I, what was he trying to name? He's trying to name something. And, uh, and I said, I said he should name it eye candy. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good idea. Okay. We're going to put the wither skull there. Apparently. Okay. We have this mangrove. We'll get more later. And let me do, uh, Okay, we got to do this, right? How, what is it? We put the put the powder in the offhand. 
And I think you just, uh, don't I just like set it right there? And it's got to be your bowl. Just like this. Why did I think that there was an even quicker way to do it? Is there a quicker way to do it? I'm just not thinking. Or do you just hold left click? Oh, you just hold left click. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I was like, I know there's a quicker way. Impulse is great. We love him. And he's all right. He knows I love him. He knows. He knows. What the? You get in my pocket. Hey, what's, what's up, buddy? I came as soon as I could. I had to come congratulate you on your skull. <laughs> yeah, right? It happened. It, it happened, dude. Happened. Wow. The curse Let's is go. broken. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well done, man. Dude, and good it was to know. Good it, to know. it was like the fourth one that I got too, bro. Yeah, let's go. It's crazy, just right? One, though. You just you took the one. Oh, yep. You know, <laughs> it was really just the one and uh <laughs> Wait, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. It was Wait, just. Wait, don't do it. Never mind. I have 141 levels. Change my mind. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> gonna do that. No, 141. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. Is that you ready for this, dude? So I got it done. I got the dude. Your armor looks great, by the way. Um. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it looks really cool. So I got it done, and it was like two seconds later. I'm like, is Tango around here? I actually got worried that he threw it at my feet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how you would have a little paranoia about That's that. That's right. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Uh, uh, did chat go wild when I logged on? They did, Thank dude. You guys. Appreciate the fanfare. You know what, I dude? Need I need it. You know, you need it. Help boost the ego a little bit. No, I gotta tell you something, dude. They, I, you. This oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, she did. Yes, oh, yes, she did. That's fantastic. And it's, it's so she OP because she just keep that horn on her. At all yes, times. yes. And I don't know if you saw earlier, dude, I did. I wanted to see how her timing was because she said she was trying to figure it out, like the, the, the stream delay. So I said, mm -hmm, I'm going to count mm -hmm. to five and you do it on six, dude. She nailed it. Nailed wow. it. Yeah. 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 Look, look, she's just waiting. Yeah. She's just waiting. So the there. only way that she could have cheated Hi, is if she could hear me, but she couldn't hear me. Hey, Jim. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never going to live that one down, am I? <laughs> no, you are not. That is too That's funny. All right. That is all right. They will grow tired of it over time. I know it. <laughs> I don't know, man. This one's got some legs. <laughs> it's okay. So here we go. I knew it was going to happen. Jay Weezy saying, what is the oh, my God, from? Impulse, why don't you explain it? Oh, yep. Uh, so, <laughs> yep. uh, it was a, it was a stream, right? Yeah, it was a stream. It Me, was. You, Tango. Yep. Uh, we did a little hot ones challenge, taking on the, the spiciest wings on the planet. And, uh, I think that was when we got to the bomb beyond insanity. Uh, oh, a couple God. seconds after I bit into that bad boy. Uh, that was a visceral reaction that I had to, yeah, because it sucks. Uh, to the, the heat coming on. And, uh, yeah, apparently it ruined my my vocal cords as well because i do not sound like me at all <laughs> you don't sound like you but but on top of that you, that's what you 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 touched your eye like seconds later here comes jim yeah hello <laughs> did you see he finally got a wither skull did you see that I'm proud of you buddy i broke the curse that was a big deal broke the curse it yeah, only took you need to get two more i stole the beacon <laughs> you sold it Stole it. Oh, stole it. I thought you said you sold it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I needed the beacon for the uh, the gold farm. I wouldn't starve to death. What? So we got to get another one. Oh, yeah. for AF Kane, so you don't stuck. Wait, but you don't. I'm yeah, 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 exactly. You and your beacons. Yeah, yeah, because you swing the sword over and over again, kill the guys, right? And eventually you get hungry. And if you're AFK, you're not eating, obviously. Oh, very so good. It okay. Regens to keep you alive. So you're basically starving to death, but then the beacon's keeping you alive. How are you swinging uh, it's, when you're not it's actually there? Sad. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, there's there's a trick, isn't there? Like to like almost log out, there's log ways. in. There, no, there's ways. There's ways. Oh, okay. All right, I'm in deal. Here, hold on here. Uh, check this out. Wow. Oh, I see. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, that's another whole sound bite we got there. Uh, <laughs> what, what the, hold on. What, <laughs> what, what is going on over there? What are you two doing? No, what? he was. <laughs> to prove that I wasn't using the mouse and keyboard while still swinging. Oh my, my god. Mouse. Oh no. Oh jeez. That's going to the blooper reel. All right. That... What is wrong with you too? That we well, why clumping. am I being clumped into this? Oh, that was, that was all him. Geez. That was him demonstrating that see like right now his hands are all, he didn't know how to demonstrate yeah. that his hands are free. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what else was I supposed to do? <laughs> Is that you snapping? Snap my fingers? Is that better? Um, it's not better. I don't know. How Dang can you? It. I don't know. What? How? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, people are already saying mac and cheese in my chat. He's knocking off. <laughs> oh, boy. That's how it's Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Tango. Last one. <laughs> oh, you got to decrease the radius on that. It's or his fault. He gave me the he command. It. He's over there trying to do his red stone, and he's just hearing, oh, my God, over and over again. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I might do? I might actually go get two more skulls, to be honest. And I, and I think I might do it with an axe because it's impossible with a sword because that tunnel leads to a place where there's piggies everywhere. And you cannot swing and hit the wither without. Yeah, you want the looting three on your sword, though. I do. Oh, can you not put looting on an axe? No. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I, I thought you could. Okay. Ah. Why don't you just go kill two more withers and bring me two more skulls? Why don't you do that? That's okay. I was going to actually start editing my episode. How long does it take to kill two withers? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> how it's going to, you're going to get, you're going to kill one. Duh. You'll get, you'll actually get two. Uh, okay. I don't have time to. You don't need the beacon at the moment anyway, right? You well, good? it'd be nice to be able to two block jump, but that that's okay. That really is okay. I, I don't need it. The answer is no, yeah. I don't need it. All right. Yeah. Right. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I, I need to. I need to. I, I'm procrastinating. I don't want to edit. I don't like editing. I don't like editing. <laughs> I don't like to do editing. I just want to play video games, kids. I don't want to do the YouTuber stuff. Yeah. Come on. That's well, you know, like work. what's crazy is I, I learned this about myself. I, I don't necessarily love the editing either until I get to the music part of it. When I'm when I get to the music pieces of my 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 stuff, I actually really really yeah. enjoy that. How do I split? How do I split this water? Tell me how to split this water. You want to split it? Uh, split it. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> I want it to do that and come yeah, there you go. over. But then it's gonna oh, keep you coming. Make out. a mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, you know what's up? Oh, I want to do. Turns out there is something I would. Uh... I would I would rather prefer editing over, and that is uh, manipulating water streams. So thanks. Uh, see, so yeah, I'm gonna go edit. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye. I deserve that. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is I want this to split. Oh, we gotta put music back on. Use stair channels to split it. This is not something that you should do on stream. That's for true. How do I split it? Wanna splat at? Well, you, you, you can't eat a stapler. Wanna splat at? Yeah, let's think about this for a second. Okay. Everybody's, let's just think about it. Let's, let's pump the brakes. Let's use our head. If we want this to be our door. Okay. Somebody's throwing stuff at me. Come on, Cletus. Come on. You just throw a thing at me. Do it, gemstone. Or whoever threw it. Somebody threw it. What you did at first with a button in the front. You don't want that smoke. <laughs> Maybe I do. Maybe I do want the smoke. Bring it. All right, so here's something. Yeah. So if I can go... Bop and bop. I feel like I need to. I might need to do this. I don't know. I don't know. If I have it just come straight down into there. Maybe we want to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that bop. Okay. Put that bop there. Put that bop there. If I can get it to split that block and go straight down, then I'm going to be happy, happy, happy. 
So how do we do that? So if I do this, it's going to come up. Oh, I know what to do. No, I don't. What if I do? Wait, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Are you watching? Why not? Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a block there. And then, uh, and then I got to just put a block there. And that should do it. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. Does it look stupid? Oh, let's get rid of that dirt. Dang it! Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, you stupid. You stupid. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hot mic! Um, okay, so let's do this. Let me grab this. Okay, we don't need to put anything else there. I, I think I think a stair would be the way to go. So let me see this. A stair facing that way. A little, little less invasive. Or, or, because if I get rid of this, it's just going to flow this direction, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let me, let me grab a stair. Blackstone pressure plate. That might be a really good idea. I don't know. Let me sleep on it. Assistant sleep master, assistant sleep master. What's up? What's up? Lichen? Lichen? Lichen will do it. Let's go. I'm going to do lichen, dude. I got some. Oh, we're doing lichen, dude. Okay, let's go get some lichen. Okay, we get some lichen. We do it now. Lichen's a good idea. And I got some bones, so I, I have one piece of lichen, so let me bone meal it first. These streams are fun. You guys make these streams so much fun. Fawn, even though Bitties, thank you so much. Amiko with a new with a new tier one. Uh, Fawn, says, I work as a soundboard technician for our local community theater. The last show I worked on was Sleuth. A three-actor show. It blows my mind how people can memorize so many lines. You know, uh, who was it? So, I, I, ever since I was a kid, memorizing lines was pretty, like, it came to me naturally. And it's not, it doesn't mean I have a, a different brain. I, or it does, I, I don't know, but... Um, where's the bones, dude? I need bone meal. I got tons of bone meal over in this place. I don't want to go get up. Oh, this is fine. All right, so check it out. Oh, look at all these bones. Um, okay, so. Here you go, kids. Uh, so, uh, hands up if you guys caught. So, first of all, hand, I want hands up only if you either have not heard of it yet or you uh, didn't know that it exists Hands up if you do not know about the Infant Skiz podcast. Man, that was a good sneeze. Look at this. No hands up. Oh, there's a hand up. There's a hand up. There's a hand up. Okay, so if you don't know about the uh, Infant Skiz podcast, I would encourage you guys to check it out. It's uh, So Impulse and I have our own podcast we've been doing for over a year now. Good one coming out this Friday, everybody. Don't miss it. Good one coming out this Friday. We interviewed Ren Diggity Dog, and he was an absolute delight. So why am I bringing this up? <clears throat> well, that is because... Uh, what was it? Uh, two, three, three episodes ago or something? We did a, a podcast on anger. And... Impulse had this idea. Now, if you haven't seen this clip uh, from... So, bat, like... 12, 15 years ago, whatever it was, Bill O'Reilly uh, had a meltdown. Bill O'Reilly is a very famous anchorman and he had a meltdown. It was really funny too. It's like one of the most famous clips where it's called, we'll do it live. Yeah, yeah we're doing it live. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And he gets very upset. So Impulse and I are going to do, we did the podcast on anger and Impulse was like, he hits me up and he's like, listen, I know what I want the opening to be because we, we, you know, we, we, help, we do this. Like, I have an idea. What do you think? And I have an idea. We go back and forth. And he wanted to reenact. We'll do it live. And uh, 
I was like, I'm, he's like, and you're going to do the Bill O'Reilly part. I'm like, dude, I'm in. I am so into this idea. That is bone meal. I'm like, I'm so into this idea. So uh, I memorized it. And it's, you know what? I didn't just memorize the lines. I wanted to get, I wanted to embody what he was. So I tried to get down the gestures, the hand movements, the sniffs, the exhale, the rolling of the eyes. I wanted to get all that stuff in there, right? Uh, why isn't this working? This has got to be your bowl. Look at this guy. Oh, this idiot. Get out of here. Um, hold on a second. <clears throat> Let's put, let's see, we need it to, we do need to split there. Maybe if I got, now do it. Maybe I got to do that and do the water after I do that, maybe. So, <clears throat> sorry, somebody clearing up my throat here. So, uh, I got that, I got it down. I did my thing and, 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 and I honestly can genuinely tell you, I think I did, I think I did it well. Well, my mom sees it and she's like, did you have cue cards or something? I'm like, no. And she's like, you just memorized it. I'm like, I used to do theater when I had to memorize like hours worth of dialogue. <laughs> this was like a two minute clip, but it was, I realized in that moment that it actually is relatively foreign to some people, the ability to do that. And I think it's only because of this. I think the reason that some people are very impressed with other people's ability to memorize lines is because they themselves have quite legitimately never actually tried it. It's not like I read through a Just script. Out of the corner of my eye. That was uh look at this. Very convenient. Look at but this guy. I... What's up, hey. buddy? Hey, I'm streaming right Not now. Much. Are you streaming? I'm streaming too, yeah. Hey. Um, Look at this guy. I thought I would come over and I would be like, what are you up to? Because <laughs> I don't normally do that. I don't <laughs> normally go around and pester people, but the, all the socializing has been so fun. Mm-hmm. It's definitely so, not pestering. That's the wrong word. It's fantastic to see you over here, X. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a pest. I don't want, You're like, not, I don't want dude. to in on anything anyone else is doing but at the same time like you know if you're having people if you need some help whatever like be cool to hang out okay well i'll tell you what why don't you help me solve this problem can you, can you do this for me okay, okay uh, what's the problem? <laughs> he's like i didn't think he'd take me up on it all right here's what i want to do i want to i just did it i split the water i guess i made a water source that's what happened hold on maybe i figured it out hold yeah on. you made one possibly by putting the glow lichen in the water stream and then made an extra one is that right? So I, I, what I want to do is I want, hold on. I, I had this two seconds ago. How did I mess this up? I you want, can, you can have, <clears throat> um, you can have it suppressed. You can use the glow lichen to suppress it. Okay. Uh, watch this. So like it doesn't flow over it. Okay. That's good. That's actually good. So we need to, so it doesn't flow over it, which means I need it to be out by one. I think I need the, the stream to come straight down on the sides here. So it won't, it won't flow. Oh, oh. I think I can help you with this. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing about water. It always like it flows to the lowest point. The flow. And yeah. Because of that, you can do you can do some like really interesting stuff with it. Maybe I do need to go one lower. Yeah, I think that's right. Check it out, homie. What if I do this, bro? Like this, and then I come up here, dude. Come on, baby. And if I put the glow like in there, maybe like right there, and then I put the water source up here, bro. What do you say? Like, like this, like so, and yeah, it goes over the top of it. Yeah, but that now, sucked. That didn't. That's not what I want. I wanted to split. Well, you wanted to split. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So put a put a glow like, like if I put a block here, it'll go either side. It also comes out to the front. So what we wanted to have done is already had a block in that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, hold on. Why is this so hard for me? I did it with a block. I I did. I pulled it off with a block, but I was hoping to not have the block there because it's just so. It's so invasive, you know? Oh, I, I think I think I can help you with that too. You just need another piece of glow lichen. Let's go. I got several here. Let's grab that. So we'll, we'll replace this with glow lichen. Now, when you when you put down oh. the water bucket this time, it'll go either side. The, the thing that's going to be difficult is getting it to not flow over the front without a block update. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so... Like currently it's good. This is what you want right down here. I do. Okay. Now when we break that block there, this is probably where it's going to go wrong. Yeah, it should. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What you have to do is you have to, um, kind of hard to remember, but you have to sort of like not update the water and trick it into thinking it's flowing to the, Oh, I got gotcha. you. The lowest point. 
Dude, I did. So how was that? I was able to do. I, so I thought a glow light would be the same thing as taking up an entire space, like block space, but uh, because I was able to pull it off. How did I do it, everybody? It actually looked really good when I did it without glow lichen, but I did not like the block where it was. Where see those two holes is where I wanted to come straight down. Mm. Which I'm means to think it, it, it can be done. It's just it's oh, it's one of these things like it's hard. The mechanics are there in the game, but I never mess around with them. Like this, bro. Check this out, homie buddy. That'll do it. That will do it. But like you said, once I remove that block. Yeah. Hold on, then it's going to flow. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's go. Bop. Okay. So that should split and go straight down. Okay. That's what we want. But that block is stupid. Yeah. Gosh, darn it. There's a, there is a way it's driving me nuts because <laughs> oh. X, you, this does not have to consume your stream, buddy. That's not what this is. This is a, uh, if you happen to, this is like when you ask something, like you go to the grocery store, you're like, do you know where the AA batteries are? And like 40 minutes later, you're walking around with that employee. You're like, never mind, dude. It's okay. Take it up your entire shift here. And then, and then they get obsessed with it and like they're yeah. trying to figure out where it is too. Mm -hmm. I want to know the answer because there, there's definitely a way to do this. Maybe string um, or a trap door, people are saying maybe. A stair to a stair in the splitting point. A stair. All right, let me let me have a peek at that. Like uh a stair right there. I mean oh, or right here, maybe. Ooh. Maybe that. What if I do that? Let me do that. Let me go in here. I'm gonna get a stair. Stair, a stair can be waterlogged. That can sometimes be useful. Yeah, but I mean, would we have to intentionally waterlog it? You know what I'm I mean? I'm not sure. Like, I really, I, uh, I really want to go read that. There's like a, there's like a Minecraft wiki article on this stuff. I really want to go read it is now. There? <laughs> yeah, there's like it shows you all the tricks, and I just can't remember how it works. It always look, like it flows to the lowest point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like maybe right there. What What are you thinking, homie? Like maybe what you need is the water source actually directly above, like the glow lichen. Direct. Oh, I'm the assistant sleep master. I gotta go nap. Hold on. Like, look at look at look at what I'm doing here. Ah, oh, is it because you got a? Oh, I think I think I know how it's done. Look at this. Okay. Listen to his brain go. I love it. Okay, but can it can it be done here? So, all right, we got the glow light in. That's good. So, like, look at look at this water source here, right? This is sort of if we imagine this is what's going on up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it hasn't gone to that spot because we didn't update it. If I update it, it flows into it. But if I do this at the side, it doesn't it doesn't go off the edge because there's a block alongside it. If I put a hole there and then update it, it now flows. it should. Yeah, yeah. So you need a water source block the other side <clears throat> of that. Let's go up here. Right now it's flowing down to the lowest point and when I break this, it shouldn't flow out. Up, up. Oh, no way. Yes. <laughs> and so that glow lichen, is it because is it because of the glow lichen? Like if we broke that glow lichen, it would fall straight down, right? Yeah, it's 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 doing that because of the order in which we updated the water, right? Oh, okay, so okay. I'll just I'll do it again here, right? Like I put the bucket down and it goes to the lowest points. Yeah. Okay. So I can actually break this block next to it and not update it. All right? But if there's a hole below it and I break that, it's then it, it's going to flow into it. It's, it it so, literally has like pathfinding logic in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the trick is you break the block there first and then you break the next one below it and then it stays flowing to either side and you've got this gap here. Oh my God. Okay. Yay. Woo! I was useful. Dude, super <laughs> useful. Thank you. Where did, I just saw Hypno. Where'd Hypno go? Yeah, he came over and said like fa fascinating and then boom. And then he gone. just like Hypno. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, listen, I was just talking to my people uh, in my chat, and I had mentioned uh, some of them had never even heard of the Infant Skiz podcast. You guys should know uh, Mr. X himself was on it. Huh? I was indeed, yeah. And it was great. Yeah, 
I really enjoyed being on, man. Thank you again. Like, it was a pleasure. You, you guys have got an amazing thing going with that podcast. He says these nice you things, know. too. He's just such a nice guy. You, you were, but, <laughs> but also, like, it was it was a great podcast. If you guys want to check that one out. And, and it was uh, with the way we, like, superimposed your Minecraft uh, square. And, and, it <laughs> yeah. was, and I did all the, like, the kind of animated the coloring around it. So every time you spoke. But it was like, it was like you were there, man. And it was just, it was great. It was fascinating. Yeah, it was really good fun. And uh, we have this Friday um, that we'll have. A, we got Ren Diggity Dog coming on uh, this Friday. Oh, so, awesome! Yeah, he was I great. Get excited! Yeah, he was absolutely great. W what a delight! And I think you guys are all gonna like it. And he, I will certainly be <laughs> tuning in. And he told, he told. Let me put a, I want a, a little teaser. A little teaser, everybody. So I'm just gonna say, yesterday I was on the server. And they were false was razzing Ren and she was like, Ren, tell me you've never been in sales or something to that. Like it was so funny. Like they were having this like razzing moment. And I said, funny story. Well, why don't you watch on Friday? I'm going to tell you now that Ren told a story that is related to sales. That is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. It is. And I don't even, I'm going to, that's, I'm going to leave it right there. So make sure you guys check it out. Cause it, I don't even know if it was in the first or second one, but it is so funny. Oh, spoiler. There's two parts. Yeah. Brent, Brent's got a lot of fun, funny stories. He's oh, a good God. storyteller. He really, really is dude. Big time. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to make this a black entrance. So you just kind of are sucked into the abyss as you enter and then Ooh. see, so you, you know what I'm doing here X? Do you know what this is going to be ultimately? This isn't this Maslow's. That's right. Pyramid of needs. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And so this layer here is physiological, right? So the, the five layers are physiological, which is just what the body needs. Air, water, sleep, food, stuff like that. Uh, oh, yeah. And then you move into security, right? Which is a basically security really is a continuation of the physiological. And it's making sure that you've got all that stuff locked up, right? You have enough food, you have enough water, you have shelter, you have all that stuff. That's what the second layer up there is going to be. And then after that is love and belonging. That's when you need community and family and brotherhood, sisterhood, stuff like that. After love and belonging, which will be a layer four up there is going to be esteem. That's more inwardly focused, um, making sure that you, uh, you have value, that you're actually offering something to that community, that you stand out, that you feel good about what you're doing. And then very, very top uh, about like less than 5% of the population reaches it. It's called self-actualization. And it's yeah. when the self is so taken care of that you can actually start to serve and you can start to identify what you're here on the planet to do. So the first one, it's going to be basically getting from this layer to the second layer is going to be very, very tough. It's going to be hard to get there without starving to death, without without um, drowning and stuff oh, like wow. that. Yeah. So it's going to be kind be of like a an experience. It's an experience just to get to that second le level is supposed to be an experience. And I'm just kind of it's swimming through my mind, but I'm liking the idea of it. So I want to make it kind of dark and dank in here so I can start to get the feel of what I want it to look like. So. Uh, that's why I wanted to split this water channel here and then it'll be all black concrete. So it'll just sort of take the, just take the light away from you. I want people to fear, feel despair the second they come in, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and just the idea of getting to security, because imagine if you were dropped right now, completely naked into the middle of the Amazon, just imagine that feeling, no tools, no food, yeah. nothing. You're dropped in the middle instantly you're, you would be at that very bottom layer. Make sure you can, yeah. you know, especially know if you're dropped into the water, underwater. Right now, you can't. Eat. I would venture, bro, that the first layer itself has many layers, right? So there's a thing like yeah. if somebody is 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 uh, very very hungry, uh, that's that's in this. They're starving to death. That's not good. But if they're drowning, they're gonna take care of getting oxygen then before they take care of getting food. You know what I mean? So mm. it's got its own do, layers. Do you ever take uh, cold showers? I do not. I've heard great things about them, but I hate it. I, I, I hate the cold. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. I used to really like it when I was younger, but as I got older, it's, uh, I don't know. But whenever I take a cold shower, like, and, and I get out and, you know, like, I always, I always just think, like, imagine that now you're just not in this home with all this convenience, you know, the radiator's on, you got a towel, you're going to get dressed or whatever, like, and go get some food. Like, imagine if you were just now transported to some Arctic terrain. You yeah. Know, yeah. Drenched in cold water. Like, yep. All of a sudden, you will feel so weak and vulnerable. Yep. Absolutely. A hundred percent, dude. And that, and that's, you're, you're right. It's, it's such a, uh, because when you're, when you get cold, like, do you ever realize when you get cold, the first thing to really go is like, is your fingertips and your toes, right? Like, you you feel the pain yes, in your hands. Yeah. 
And that's because the body is like, hey, we're freezing to death. We have to protect what matters. And so all that blood goes to your core to protect your heart and your organs and all that. And so mm. that's why you feel the fingertips and everything go, you know, go, go, go first or whatever. The body itself recognizes that it's in demise and it starts to try to salvage anything it can. Even the body is like, we can let the arms go, the legs. We can, those can all die off, but we got to protect yeah, the heart yeah. and the lungs and all that. <laughs> Interesting. You could, uh, you should have a rule like take off your armor and all of that stuff. Like oh, you got to uh, end it here, here naked. <laughs> you're, there'll be no armor and you're going to come in here hungry. Like you're actually going to probably, you know what I mean? There's, it's going to be, you want to start already hurting. So you got to, you got to get the food that you can. You got to, you have to, and the, there's going to be, there's going to be moments you have to swim great distances in a one wide. Wow. And it's going to be like, can you get there? Can you figure it out in time to get a little bit of air or whatever? So. Uh, I wanted Such an to be, amazing yeah. concept, man. I like. I've never heard something so, I don't know, deep and involved and related to philosophy just kind of like transposed into Minecraft. Well, I mean, thank you, but I gotta tell you, I, I full disclosure, I was so overwhelmingly motivated by what I felt when I played decked out that I was like, I'll, I'm never gonna be able to do the decked out thing. That's just I, you have to know what you are and what you're not. I'm never gonna be able to pull off what he pulled off. However, maybe I can try to harness a similar experience where you're so engrossed and you're so pulled into it that at least you're it's it's uh we just did a podcast on this on immersive gaming right I'm, I'm hoping if i can subtly somehow pull off people going through this and forgetting for a moment that they're doing that they're in minecraft i'll feel very accomplished because when i did decked out bro i completely forgot i was playing minecraft dude i yeah. completely yeah, forgot like, like it was so a game well within a game yeah absolutely that's a really good goal to have yeah yeah uh, it's fascinating i can't wait to see it evolve man yeah, I'm excited. What are you what are you doing today, bro? Well, I kind of left my uh my my whatever, my plan open. I was just like I'm actually not going to like try and focus on anything and just let stuff happen. Nice. Um So I don't really know what I've been up to because I've been stuck in a hole building a farm yesterday <laughs> and then doing little details on my base. I mean, I've got little projects going on here and there, you know how it is. Oh yeah. Doing all the Minecrafty stuff. Yes, I do. You got a shop up yet? Yep, I'm selling copper, a couple of walls, terracotta, but like nothing, nothing terribly interesting. Just a little pop-up stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, uh, I did introduce some, some counterfeit diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> counterfeit <laughs> diamonds? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I had an idea that required the old diamond texture, and then I thought. That's not a good idea. Why don't I use this for shenanigans? And uh, Cleo, Cleo didn't notice. And then when she found out she had counterfeit diamonds, she used them to buy stuff from my shop. <gasps> I am going to so build a fire. prison and I'm throwing you in it, dude. <laughs> uh oh, I'm getting myself in trouble. Dang. That's brilliant, dude. I love it. That You know, now we're going to have to start holding the diamonds up to the sunlight to see uh, if, if they're legit or not. It's, it's it's a good test, I tell you, because like they look, they do look similar, you know. Yeah. The old and the new. That's cool, man. How many years have you been playing Minecraft then? Well, it's embarrassing to say, to be honest. Uh, over ten. I've been playing. I mean, I started playing over ten years ago, and I want to be <laughs> That's honest. Not embarrassing. I've been playing for over ten too. I thought you were gonna say no, like, no. oh, I started a few years ago. Or no, 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 no. The embarrassing part is that after uh, all this time, I'm still legitimately very, very bad at the game, right? And I'm fine with that. Like, <laughs> but the bottom line is, all my playtime, like I, I feel like I've evolved a lot just in the last few weeks, and the reason is this: every time I've played before. It's been for entertainment, like solely entertainment only, right? So the, the naked and scared, uh, that was, it was, we were never building. We were never designing. I didn't care about anything. It's just a series that Impulse and I did that was all about survival. Then I would do the snapshot series where it was just about exploring the new, the new things in the snapshot. I never placed a single block and really gave a crap about what it looked like. This is the first yeah. time ever. And so I, this has been very tough for me because I'm just not a builder. I'm not artistic in that realm. And I'm, I'm surrounded by just complete artists but it's been a growing experience for me and they have been wonderful like i'm getting a lot of tutoring i'm getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with some of the greater builders and i'm 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 blessed and you know so i feel like i'm i'm evolving a little bit and i'm, I'm enjoying it very very much it's been great yeah that's fantastic man I, i've heard that story a couple of times though like you, you join hermitcraft and then all of a sudden your whole minecraft game has to change up right yeah absolutely you cannot build terrible and and, and so now every block i place i'm like oh my upsetting somebody but i'm like ah you know what if the answer is yes it's yes and then maybe they'll come and talk to me 
Uh, but uh, but I'm but I'm just I'm just loving it. Every time I log on, yeah. I just feel joy. It's it's a fantastic season. There's um there's a there's a, a meta that I want I want to become the thing that everyone says right. Season ten out of ten. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Not that it's the last season. No, just no, that it's no, the no, best no. season. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Or a best season. Yeah. I would love it's that. It's been utterly fantastic. But dude, no, you're like you're doing great here, man. Don't ever feel like what you're doing in the game isn't good enough in any way because as you've shown right here like you have an amazing concept you're going to do something totally different from the regular thing you know thanks man you're bringing you're bringing your own flair to the group oh, i think it's fantastic see and there's that too is the amount of support like scar said something similar when i when i pitched this to him he's like yeah dude he's like that's very different man that and he was it was very complimentary uh oh Ah, you know what I hear right now? I hear the garbage truck and I did not bring the recycle out front. That's on me. <laughs> but uh, the but Scar said the same thing and that just, you know, it's very, it's very comforting. So it makes me, it, what it does is it makes me feel very comfortable to move forward with ideas knowing that uh, I've got the, the, you know, so for example, come here over here. This was great. This was a great moment between Jem and myself. I have never in my entire life ever terraformed, ever. And she helped me terraform. This whole thing Ooh. was a complete hole and she helped me terraform this whole thing and she just had the greatest ideas and she kind of walked me through uh, how her mind approaches it and now i feel uh, like i can I, I now i have the confidence to at least uh, like tackle a terraforming project it might not be great but before i was like i wouldn't even know how to start and now i feel confident in my ability to start because you know she took me under her wing on this one and i'm, and I'm grateful for that so it's a great crew this this looks gorgeous by the way yeah, isn't she amazing um, dude so good yeah she is good absolutely with, with the terraforming stuff i used to really struggle with it too but the other hermits helped me with that as well and one of the things that i've uh never let go of is like when you when you create like that palette of blocks uh you've actually got some here with some of your shading i see i see how it works it's like it transitions from the darker to the lighter right as it goes yeah, up cur yeah it'll be actually be pearly white by the time it gets a self-actualization I've, I've seen the picture. It looks super cool. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was telling my stream before, I was a big fan of the original size of it. Yeah, uh, but it was... You know, it, it, it probably did lean on the obnoxious... <laughs> it was too scale. big. I didn't think it through. I, I, I liked it, but yeah. <laughs> um, when, you're, when you're working with a larger palette of blocks and you're trying to randomize it because, you know, you want... Um, like, like with this area here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I find it's really helpful to have little rules that underpin how you randomize the blocks. Like... When you place cobble, they're always in groups of three and four. And when you put cobbly moss, it's more like seven and eight. And make sure you put a couple of moss blocks in it. Okay. And you're sort of creating a blueprint for like something that the brain will pick up because it will sort of understand those patterns, but mm. it will give it more of a story. It will be less just random noise and have more cohesion. So yeah, um, I'm not sure quite what the thinking was here. Like it, it, this just totally works, but there could be a rule of like, um, Jem's thinking, you know, I'm going to put the mossy blocks closer to water than the other ones because that naturally tells a story of like the water helping the moss water, form on yeah. the rock, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and those ideas, they don't need to be genius. They don't need to be really clever and have logical sense. I think they just, if there's a few of those in what you're doing, um, that they'll just naturally sort of reveal themselves when you look at them and, and make sense. Yeah, you know? agree. Can you can you do me that's, a favor? That's my this is can i yeah. do, can, first of all that that see what i mean this is what i'm talking about everybody like this like the, these conversations are are freaking awesome and that was really well put so that's something i'm gonna take it with me okay let me i can't believe this i'm see this is what i'm talking about 10 years i didn't know you could enchant shields can i take a peek at what that is <laughs> what <laughs> what kind yeah. of a, i've never tried to enchant a shield before what is this Got mending, mending and unbreaking. Breaking. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. I was I like, mean, I'm a, I thought maybe it was like bounce back and stuff. Somebody shoots an arrow at you and you hold that up and it comes back at cool. them. Yeah. That's actually when you block and an arrow, like yeah. if you shot an arrow at me right now, do you have bow and arrow? I do. So you ping one at me. And it just, oh, I got you! What? <laughs> That's what it can do, man. Try again. How did Try that... again. <laughs> Do you it have thorns? Back. You have thorns? No, no, no. Like the the arrow will literally bounce off. I, I think there might be like some directionalness as well. No, so like it does I not. It, bit, it totally. You were just glowing. You've got two arrows in you. Two arrows. 
But F5 it, right. Here, shoot me again. Okay, here we go. Now, did that one go upwards a bit more? I don't know. I went to F5. Do it, do it one more time. One more time. So it is feels it... like it shortens the range of it. I, I can't tell, though. So I said it would be cool if you could bounce arrows off and hit somebody, and now you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah, you just, just block and look directly at me. Okay. Now let's go use the glow arrow so you can really see it. Glory. Uh-huh. How far? How far? Do it Do it from there. Okay. You oh, missed. I missed. <laughs> Terrible shot. Okay, so Dude, it bounced. Did that hit? It, it did, but it, it bounced back like a block. Okay, it might be like a momentum thing. Like, maybe if I'm, like, shooting you from here and then jump out of the way, Ooh. maybe. <laughs> it, how far did that go? I didn't even see. One, two, three, four blocks. Interesting. I, I, I'm so... I'm not getting what's happening. I, 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 that's what, I mean, I've seen it before where <laughs> there's a skelly up on me and I block them and then it hits them, but I thought it was just like falling down on them. Block from above, whatever. It, <laughs> you missed. It. I need to look, I need to look. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, that, oh, that's, that's going to be so hard. Because I totally can't see it. And okay, wait, wait, is it in front of me? I think it's... What? Oh. What is this? You can't shoot yourself? This is like my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's just like... Hey, hey, oh! What? What's going on? What, do you got a poison arrow or something? Oh, I think I was juggling it. Oh, you like got it was that. You're bouncing you, on the top of the shield. Dude, you got yourself right in the jugular, bro. Took a dart to oh. the neck. Oh, that don't look good for my health. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Uh, I'm a, I speak in movies. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, it is. All right. Yeah, that's the shield. Look at me, though. Like, right. I'm, I'm kind of in wimp mode, just always decked out with, like, <laughs> you know, all the enchantments, netherite, and a shield everywhere I go, even though it's just peaceful around here. <laughs> I was Ooh. rocking nothing oh. for a while. You got yourself a skull. My first one, I broke the curse, bro. I broke it. It nice. took it took me here. Let me it took me ready. I think I'll do this minus. I have killed uh where is it? I have killed 128 wither skellies with looting three. I have one skull. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I I think I got all of your bad luck because I I killed like about, I don't know. 10 and got like five skulls the other day that's like literally in a few minutes i had five skulls that's what i'm ridiculous. talking about that's what i'm talking about dude dude tango came with me i said he i said my luck is i don't know if you saw that clip but impulse and i went hunting he just kept getting skull after skull after skull after i had killed like 112 of them i had had enough and i threw my sword at him i said you know what just go get it from that guy he picks up my sword and he gets it in one shot and I was just Dang. like, you gotta be kidding. And then so Tango came with me and Tango got two skulls within six kills. So I'm like, this is making me crazy. Dang. Yeah, I've killed about double the amount of Wither Skeletons as you. And I think I've got about at least 20 skulls. It God. does feel like there's something quirky going on this season with that stuff though, doesn't it? Yes, something's odd, but I finally got my first one. So I'm feeling good. Can we get nice. a picture. Are you gonna fight, fight a Wither though? That'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I have, but I fought Have one you with done Joe. that in Naked and Scared? Like, uh, as far as to get a wither kill? Yeah, I think we did. No, I know we did. Um, but we didn't, like, put it out in the open. We put it in a tunnel. And did oh, it that yeah, way. that's always... That's an easy way to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It I mean, that's great. what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Again, decked out in Netherite with my shield, fighting a wither in a tunnel. Yeah. That's why I do things. Pick, stick around. All right, my dude. Thank you for uh, entertaining me for a little while here. This this base is awesome. This was a Love delight, it. man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the help on the water, dude. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> no problem. No really, problem. Really appreciate it, bro. If you, if you're curious at all and you look into those mechanics, you can actually do like some really weird stuff with it, like create floating water art, where you kind of like oh yeah yeah build yeah the water out and trick it into where it needs to flow. I've seen that. Cool. The only the only uh like downfall or whatever you want to call it is the fact that if somebody like blinks too hard or sneezes the whole thing comes apart <laughs> yeah it get, yeah that's it it gets one little update and it's like uh oh I, I spent an hour building that yeah 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 yep. all right, all right my dude thank you again all right, I'm brother. Go, uh wander around for a little bit <laughs> yeah you be well man talk to you soon i'll see ya
That was a delight. Picks coming that in with the raid. Thank you so much. All we'll, the people uh, coming we'll go, in. We'll go wander through the neighborhood and see if there's anything going. <laughs> I love the trailing off. That was amazing. Pixel, thank you very much. Pixel Riffs coming in with that raid. I, there's not a chance. Not a chance you guys don't know who Pix is. Not a chance. But if if let's get a shout out going. Um, Pix is one of a kind. So uh, thank you very much for that raid, my friend. That's very, very cool. Come on in. What are we doing? We are uh, we're just sort of prepping the entry to uh, the first layer of Maslow's Pyramid here. And uh, and I had to and I got my first Wither Skull, my first one. That's actually a big deal for me because I start, I was starting to believe I was cursed. That is the honest to goodness truth, everybody. I was starting to believe I was actually cursed because I killed 112 Withers with looting three and didn't get a single skull. And for everybody else, they're just the skulls are just dropping left and right. So good for them. Uh, but here we are. So what I want to do is I want to make this. We're going to end up putting a roof on this um, to kill the light so I can make it dark and dank and we can really start to picture what it is we're trying to do you know in here and i don't necessarily need this here anymore but i'll take care of that later 112 that's right 112 i finally got my first one today so the curse is officially broken so i'm going to consider myself grateful for that that is for certain okay see this is what i'm liking like I, this is going to be it's going to be it's got to be dark it's got to be Oh, you got to feel hopelessness as you come in, right? And I think, honestly, what I might end up doing later is I might end up, oh, this is, this is, I'm very, I'm very happy. And you know what? Let me tell you something. I really enjoyed Izuma's response to the idea. It was very touching. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's cool stuff, man. It makes you, it makes you, uh, makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Dirt below the water streams. I think, uh, did I leave dirt down there? Oh, we don't want that. Come on. We do not want that. Wait a minute. There we go. That's much better, dude. Oh, wait, is there, what's that? There we go. I mean, how... How much fun is this? That looks good, doesn't it? And I think I should even, I don't want to put, I don't want to put black out here. So I think I'm just going to leave that where it's at. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Now we can't put black there. So we're going to have to leave that dirt. Or I might, I might actually, you know what? I'll probably end up creating a proper like walkway entrance to this. That's going to make a lot more sense, right? OP shovel problem. <laughs> Oh, that's the other thing. I do, you know what I might do, dude? Honestly, I think at the end of the day, I think I might just do it today. I would like a beacon ultimately shooting up out of the top of this thing. Uh, that's going to be something we're going to want to do. That's that's a tomorrow me problem. Actually, no, if it's going to be in the ground, I should really do it now. We'll, we'll get that sorted. We'll get that sorted. Uh, we got to catch up on the love coming in. You guys are outstanding. Look at this stuff. I got to scroll. We're going to go all the way down here. I want to catch up, you lovelies. <laughs> Just call me Kevin, mate. I love that. Is this Skiz, a hermit? So happy for you, bud. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, five months of that prime. Petrus with the 314. Skiz, I love your face. Up, DNR. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Believe me, I do. I think that the bandwidth is going to be next to nil. So we'll have to take a peek. We'll have to uh, keep our eye on that. Thank you, Petrus. Uh, Mischievous with the tier one, seven months. Thank you so much. Is this Little Italy? The new tier one? Uh, Des Doodle with 100 biddies. My husband's birthday was yesterday. Can you get a birthday, yo yo? This goes out to Des Doodle's husband. Happy birthday. Birthday, yo yo. Why you have a birthday? Happy birthday. Lady Birdie Bop with our biddies. Hey, man. So happy to see you in Hermitcraft 10. Thanks for the stream and have an amazing day. Birdie Bop, thank you. That was 33 minutes ago. Man. Avarista gave me the new one. We got Kroot with two months. We got P H Peterson. I'm just going to say Peter Peterson because it's P.H. Peterson. F Peterson. F Peterson. With a new Prime sub. Thank you so much. Disco Spider with a new one. 
Vimkins, you're outstanding. 24 months. Sad Rogus with a prime sub. Nitterjoy, 17 months. M. Nee with a tier one. Westfair with a tier one. Says two months subbed. More fun yet to come. We'll stick around because we do not plan on stopping anytime soon. Tauterus with the 12 months. Manda Pandarn. Manda Pandarn. It's my birthday and I'm at work and I get a birthday. You, yo. Manda Pandarn, happy birthday. Birthday. You, yo. Why you have a birthday? Uh, EM Ter EMT. M MT Rodang. EMT Aerodang. Some of these names are so hard to say. New tier sub. Thanks so much. Mutton Dew. Uh, with the new one as well, Cass gifting over a sub. And of course, Pixel coming in with that huge raid. Thank you so much, Pix. Puka gifting over to Pixel Riffs, the one and the only Puka. We just played the Bop song. Anybody want to hear it again? Because I can't get enough of it personally. And, it, and it, if 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 uh, if Pooks is here, we're going to have to do it. Right? Hey, it's low with a with tier one, 11 months. Pax with a new one. That's the new Prime sub. St. Drone with a new Prime sub. Celine with a tier one, two months. Ken Senior, 20 months. And Christy. 100 biddies. Skiz, this idea is amazing. I'm a psychologist and this is super cool. Also, this stream is awesome and you were super funny and kind. Goodness, Christy, thank you for that. Okay, we want to do it. We got Pooks in chat, I think. We're gonna we're doing it. We're doing the Bob song. Are you here, Pooks? Pooka Popper. Pooka Popper. Wherever he goes. He animates Pooka Popper. Pooka Popper. It's Pooka and me. Uh, let's pause the music and let's get our, let's get our bop on. Ooh, way to go. Good job. All right, are you going to bop it up? I can bop if you want to. Let's go. You can bop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 but if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can pop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go pop, 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 you can pop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can pop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. All right. You can't just get me started. I think I, I like a little push car, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> I actually like that rendition. That was great. <laughs> We'll, we'll say the origin after this. And we're done. So the origin of the Bob song is, so uh, Impulse is big on... Oh, 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 why is that play? No, 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 no. <sighs> Sorry, that's one of my favorite bands in the world is Polyphia. And it went into uh, that song into playing God. Hopefully it didn't play enough for me to get the MCA. We'll see. Uh, see, you guys knew it was Polyphia. <laughs> By the way, I cannot get enough of that. I can't get enough of that. I can't get enough of that song. I can't get enough of Polyphia. Everything they do. Everything they do, I love. I should be good, right? It was short enough. Um, So, Impulse and I were doing uh, Naked and Scared, and... We were having to make this like really deep journey. Uh, Tim Henson is the goat. No question. That guy is sick. So we had to make the journey um, in the nether down to, we were actually doing SBE, which was it? Yeah, was it? It wasn't Naked and Scared. It was, it was SBE, it was Skyblock Evolution. It was a new version of Skyblock. Um, and uh, it's, it was great. Anyways, we had to make this like 
we had to go down this dangerous place in the nether and um he would always say bop when he would place down blocks and i and I, he pulled out his blocks we were about to start trailing down and i said you're gonna bop it up and he's all you can bop if you want to and then he went you can bop if you want to that's all he did and I said, you can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. That's it. That's it. And then he starts laughing. And I said, you can't just get, you know, get me started. I'm in like a little push car, right? That's all it was. That's it. And then uh, here comes the one, the only, right? Uh, Ellie Beatmaker. Yeah, I said, I said, Puka Pop. I, I, I'm such an idiot. But it was Ellie Beatmaker who threw that together. And it was absolutely sick. So sick. What is this guy doing in here? Huh? Yeah, it was Ellie. It was Ellie. It was Ellie here when I did that? Because I was like, my brain, my wires got crossed. Okay, so I, I've got to find the center here. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Okay, so half 47 is a number that we're all very curious about. What is it? 24? 24, right? Should be 24 is the center of 47. Yeah. All right, let's go. Then let's go uh, do that. Let's go find the dead center here. So again, uh, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, four, five. I really don't want to mess this up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm starting over. I just, I really don't want to mess this up. One, two, three, four. This one's four, guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that should be it. Okay. That should be the dead center, if I'm not mistaken. Does that look about right? Yeah, what? <coughs> why didn't I just do path blocks? Am I new? Let's see, right? That's four, five. Do it five, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, good. Anyways, that's the center. Oh! That's the center, people. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to want to... How many? Nine, seven, five, three. So four layers and then the beacon. Right? So what we want to do is we want this to go five deep. I'm basically going to be building the beacon down in here. That's what we're going to do. So we want this to be five. So one, two, three... Four, five. That's where we gotta start. We gotta start right here. This is this is gonna be where the bottom is, and that is a nine by nine. The bottom is right. So let's do uh, four on each side here. One, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put the. I'm just gonna put the iron under here, and then the beacon's gonna be completely like level with the top. Oh, good call. Let's do six so we can put glass on the top. Good call. All right, I'll be right back.
Not my chair do? Huh? How'd the chair do on this stream? You do all right? A uh, very smart idea, everybody. Very smart idea to um to do six. Yeah, so we can the glass will be flush uh, at the top there. And I think that's a good idea. So here it is right here. So let's go one more then. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. So we gotta we gotta carve this. So this is we'll just carve the whole thing. That's fine. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Mm, mm, mm. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. One, two, three, and four. One, two. There we go. Okay. So let's open this up. Oh, I wish I had a beacon. <laughs> right. What luck? I'm a chunky monkey. We got to eat everybody. Let me put all this back on just to save some space here. Okay, I'm eating. Look at, look at all these people looking out for me, making sure I'm eating. I love it. <clears throat> Else Nets with the two months. Thank you so much. Crazy Peanut gifting over to the pooks. El, uh, Jewel with the 100 bitties. Says, love the music in the background. So glad I can catch a stream live. Well, thanks for being here. Nickel Polish with the 100 bitties. You know what? We got there was a joke of the day that Derps brought and I missed it. Derps, can you put the joke of the day in our in our um, mod channel? I could have sworn I saw one and I just missed it because I suck. Wesky with the five hundred biddies. We need a remix using Impulse's new sound clip <laughs> with the oh my god sound clip. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Joke of the day. My friend accidentally smashed her foot on the table. And she was hopping around the room, screaming in pain. I rushed to the phone, picked it up and asked her, should I call for a tow truck? <laughs> T-O-E. <laughs> Here's the deal. That is pretty funny, but the only way it could get really funny is when I actually do that. So I am going to be on the hunt now for one of my idiot friends uh, jam getting jamming their feet and I'm doing that. I'm, I'm Let me tell you this too. My buddies who I like, I've known since grade school, we go, uh, hang out at a cabin for a week, at least once a year, even though it's, it's been hard to make happen recently. If I did that, okay. I'm just gonna tell you right now. If I did that, if one of them was like walking, they slammed it into like the, like, like a dresser or something. They were like, Oh, and I, and I just pulled out my phone and I, and I just like hurried. I'm like, I'm calling a tow truck, dude. My, my buddies would lose it. They would lose it. And the person even in pain would absolutely, because we are corny like that. You know what I mean? Let it be tango. Have I gotten a raging email from Doc for the hourglass? Pff, I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing going on there. Nothing at all. Everything's good to go. <laughs> That was a fun prank. I really enjoyed it. Sam, two months. You're amazing. Thank you, Sam. Okay, here we go. I'm officially, and, 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 and here's the deal. After this, after the stream today, uh, there's, I'm going to, I got to, well, I got to see if I can grab a quick bite. Yesterday was actually, you'll hear about it in a podcast in a few weeks. Actually, I can't do it. I can't give two, I can't be that far ahead. I can't give it away. But anyways, my point being this, um, this what this is, I got a lot more to do today, man. A lot. We got, I got to get, uh, got to get the podcast underway and I'm going to go record two more podcasts with Mr. Impulse because I am going to be leaving. So we're going to record. I'm going to take those with me and I'm going to edit those while I'm on, uh, while I'm on vacation and with my laptop, which I love. But I'm super excited. And I'm gonna I need to start packing too and maybe do a little bit of clothes shopping. We leave, my wife and I leave Thursday. Yeah, I told my wife. 
after doing the taxes. I'm like, we're never doing that again. We've been doing it ourselves, our whole marriage, and we're, it's gotten too complicated. We're not doing it anymore. We're going to make sure that we get a professional to do it. Reverick with a thousand biddies says, Skiz, wanted to say thanks for the entertainment. Enjoy your trip out east. It's always good to spend time with family. Rest and recharge, and I know I will be excited for when you get back. Jeez. What a nice thing to say, Reverick. And then gifting out five subs. We'll get Buddy Bombs rolling for Reverick, please. Holy smokes, Rev. Goodness gracious. And also Miss Money gifting a sub. Jeez. Why didn't that appear? Huh? Why doesn't that appear on my feed? Gotta make sure I don't miss him. Rev, thank you very much for that. A thousand bits and then gifting out those five subs. You're amazing. Trying to break the skids. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we have to get back up there, and I have nothing. I did not plan for this. I'm very embarrassed. Um, I don't want to wreck too many things. I guess for now, we'll just do this. We'll just climb on out. This will be temporary. I don't, I'm not, I'm not thrilled that I did it this way, everybody. You know, not happy with myself. All right, but that's it. I didn't, I didn't have a clever way to get in and out. So that felt pretty foolish. In fact, let's do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, let's do this. I should just go ahead and start. What, where are these people? Hi! Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Okay. 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 There are two of them. Look at these guys. You better knock it off. Why don't you give me that delicious loot? Or how many I get? I don't know because I can't pick stuff up. Uh, two of them. Hey, creepy. Hey, creepy baby. I wish there was a skelly in here. Hey, buddy. Maybe I get myself a record for my record shop. Ooh. You look like you're about to blow up. Okay, let me put this way. One day this pick will be netherite. One day. Yeah, you think I would have done it by now since I do actually use it a lot. A lot. Okay, people, I am a mess. I'm not trying to be a mess, but I'm a mess right now. My stuff is everywhere. The chess monster is next level. We got to get that sorted. And, and, hold on, let me, let me, uh, let me do this. Let me come over here. I need to carry torches on me. I, I'm very upset with myself that I don't. I'll get torches later. See, just like that. Just like that, I stopped carrying. Yeah, I gotta light up the, all I gotta do is light the, in fact, why don't we just do this? Check it out. Ever since they changed the rule that it's gotta be zero, it's become far more manageable. Where is the pick I just, or where's the, the torch I just broke? Right there. I have 63. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I really should do the liking, huh? That would be, well, I mean, eventually that's what it's going to be like. Is, oh, that is so cool looking. That is, that, that's, oh, I ruined it. That's for another day. For now, we're going to go like that. We go over here. That guys ever tell you how to speed up lines at, at amusement parks? You guys ever hear my, my story? Like you go to, you want to go on a roller coaster, you know, and you, and you get in line. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, this is 24, right? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, here we go. That's the center. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Um, here's how here's how you do it, people. Here's how you speed up lines for a roller coaster. Uh, you don't stand in line. You sit in a moving desk, and that moving desk has a computer, and on said computer is Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Guarantee you. Guarantee. What? Three hour wait. Ooh, Minecraft. All right, I guess I'll, I guess I'll play some Minecraft and kind of, you know, just to kind of kill the time. Oh, is it my turn to go? Well, I don't want to. I want to sit here playing Minecraft. That's how it works. I'm right, aren't I? I'm right. Arker, get to now ten subs. Arker, thank you so much. Thank you for that, Arker. Misty Quisty. Look at this coffee. Jumps to the hundred biddies. Can watch on mobile for a little bit. Misty Quisty with a new Prime sub. What a name, Misty Quisty. <laughs> Lost Soul, 43 months. The 1948. The 1948. Hello from Denmark. Well, hello. 
Tiny Toby with 100 Biddies says, Morning Skiz, I was reminiscing about the Hermits Olympics yesterday, and I came to the realization that I am a tango death magnet. Both times he died outside a game, I was, it was crashing into me. <laughs> if I had a nickel, I like that. And then again, Arker, get them out those 10 subs. You're amazing. Thank you. Butter bombs rolling for arcs. It was unequivocally the right decision to go down to six layers here. Unequivocally the right decision. So thank you for that. In fact, I'm probably going to put black glass on top of this. No, I don't know. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I'll put black glass, but then it'll change as it goes per through each layer. Yeah, I'll be good. I'll be good. Is it getting dark out? No. What do you guys think about my, what do you think about my theory about how to make, uh, about, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, what do you think about my theory on how to, how to speed up lines in amusement parks? I'm right. Aren't I? Huh? You sit down in a moving desk, dude. You got a three hour wait ahead of you. Three hours. You start playing Minecraft. You're going to go Wink, and it'd be like, it's your time to get on the ride. And how many people will be like, just you guys can go ahead of me. I want to finish this project, which will make the line go even faster. Yeah. So essentially they'll just shut the ride down. And it'll just be people playing Minecraft. <laughs> In fact, here's what's going to happen. You, it's it's going to turn into a Minecraft park. And then when there's people waiting in line to get a computer, they're just gonna be like, why don't you ride that roller coaster for a little bit? And when one frees up, we'll let you know. <laughs> I, I just heard everybody's laughter. I heard it, I tell you. Uh, oh, make the player. Oh, they have to place the, the. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Maybe the person going through this has to place it uh, to signify where they're at in the process. Could That could be a thing. Okay, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Clean up, 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 up gonna open this whole thing up might as well well yeah also also open all this up i'm gonna open it all up just makes me feel better and then i can breathe okay breathe why do i feel like a creeper is about to pop down in here better not Better not. Ace with the hundred biddies. Skiz, this plan sounds cool but expensive. What plan? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you mean for the the rides at the amusement park? Yeah, but it's uh, you know it's expensive. But you know you, you want to be awesome. You gotta it's gonna cost. All right, so here's the deal. So let's go like this. Now, right here is gonna be the beacon, and then the glass above. Good call. It was a good call. Whoever called it out, appreciate that. I would have been very upset if I didn't think about that. This is why you stream. Get your ideas from the people. All right, let's get out of here. Make like a tree and get out of here. Um, now I can, yeah, you can do it from here, dude. I didn't even, I can block this up. That's what I'm talking about. There's a dirt. It's right here. Why did it not go? Oh, because it's grass. Okay. Okay, we're gonna block this all the way up. Good. There we go. And I think I'm gonna put a little trap door on that fella. For now, anyways. For now. And in fact, that's gonna light up from a, from below. So I think I might fix that. We'll get that sorted. We'll get that sorted. Bill Drastel coming in with a rate of two. Ow. Okay, let's go to sleep because we are the assistant sleep master. Make sure that B-Dub's not on. If he is, then I relinquish. We go, yeah. If you guys could even see how fast I clip, I don't even know. Over here, my, my, because I'm a drummer and my, my hand is going brrr, assistant to the sleep master. <laughs> Same thing. No, it's not. It's lower. 
gig stream tonight. Honestly, nothing has been talked about unless I miss something. And I'm not saying no. I am I am saying that full disclosure, it would be uh might be difficult to pull off just because of how much I've got to get done. But boy, I miss playing fast with the boys. And Jem. Jem's too much fun. I Jem has been too much fun uh in Phasmo. Okay, so let's let's get a trap door on this fella. Um, I don't want to use mangrove. I don't want to use that. That's for sure. Mm, or should I dark wood? I, let me get dark oak. Let me let me do it. Do I have any on me? No. All right, let's get some dark oak. Do you guys know? Will a beacon? Will it go through? Gem is a gem. That is true. Will a beacon go through a trap door? I feel like it will. Right. Fembard, were you answering my question? Because that was so fast. So we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna say a number. Okay, I want you guys put your put your fingertips over the number pad. You get ready. You ready? We're gonna do it now. Why did we say hello, MP? Did he just chime in? Bum bum. Oh, he did. We busy, dude. Well, I know we're busy. I mean, I, okay, that's what I was talking about maybe after that. I was just talking. I just said that we're going to record podcasts. I got in trouble. You guys got me in trouble. You guys asked me about gigs. I got in trouble. I don't get in trouble with Impulse. Okay? He gets in charge in trouble with me. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, I got Dark Oak here somewhere. Oh, that's right. We're going to do the number. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. One number. One single number. Here we go. Hover over the keyboard. Here comes the number that I want you to type is three. Okay, so that was pretty good. Some people mess it up, I guessing. Okay, that was pretty good. So that was about two seconds. Let's do it again. Okay, this time I'm gonna pick up a, a letter. No, and I'm gonna add it a, like a half a second for you to find the letter. Type the letter P. Darn it, I wasn't ready. Okay. We got to do it again because I wasn't on fresh messages. <laughs> Professional. All right, here we go. Type the letter Q. All right, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Okay. It's always fun to do that. I love that. Bum, bum. Um, um, I know I have some dark oak, you know. Oh, I know where it's at, too. It's in my wood chest. That's right. I made a wood chest. No big deal. Got organized. I didn't get organized. It's, I still suck. But this is much better than what it used to be. And so here we are. Here we go. I mean, this fella. I forget. Do I need... Yeah, I need to make another one. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. That looks pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, so this is officially where that beacon's gonna go. And it'll no longer be intrusive. And uh, it'll be part of it. And it'll ultimately come out the very top of... Dr. Maslow's Pyramid. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Bum, 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 bum. I am feeling I'm coming along. Uh, now, now, Shingles over there is still named Shingles because it's not completely gone. But it's almost time to rename him. Feeling pretty good about that. Okay, that looks good, yeah? All right, good. So now we know that's the center and that's the beacon. And now we're happy, 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 happy. Okay, it's underground. And we'll put some black glass on that. Is uh, Actually, what we'll end up doing is putting black glass on that. I almost want to do it now. I feel like I should do it now. I'm going to do it now. Sorry, guys. I get stuff in my head and I just, I it's like I just, I can't not do it. Do I have any glass? No. I got sand, though. Why 
Why not blue for the blue eyes? Well, that, because that first layer is going to be, um, it's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be kind of eerie. Then again, if I put black glass on, well, I'm not going to even put a beacon on it, so it's fine. Let's get some sand. Black glass or tinted glass? I'm saying black glass. Look at all those hungry, all those chunky monkeys. Everybody's like, dude, eat. <laughs> I waited so long. I'm like straight up like crawling. <laughs> Nimrod says, hey, Skiz, big lurker here. I learned, I learned of poker roguelike game called Bellatro. Something maybe you would like to check out. I've never even heard of that. I will say this. Okay, I will say this. I I love poker. It's it's like I, I, I like it so much, I wish I didn't. I genuinely where did the sand go? I genuinely, genuinely um wish I didn't like poker. Uh, because it is a, because I, I, I like it a lot and I think I'm actually very good at it. I think I can explain a lot about uh, just a lot of the different theories and approaches and, and percentages and how to read people. And, but at the end of the day, poker sucks because it's like one of the only activities where literally the better, like if you make a play that's like, because you're that good, you like had the perfect read. Like the better you are, the worse it went for you. Like if you weren't so good, you wouldn't be in this trouble. You know what I mean? And and same way, that person literally was able to rake that pot because they have no idea what they're doing. Like that's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like like I just it's it's, it's like I get frustrated. So I'm like, why do I like this game? Why? I remember I was at my brother's house and I just was doing everything right, dude. The amount of pots like that I was stealing, but not just stealing, like building up before the steal. Tell the story. I didn't hold nothing. And just tell the story early on and then fire big at the end and let the let the cards on the table. The cards on the table need to be enough to threaten your opponent. And I was just raking it in. And I'm just like up hundreds of dollars. And then I just end up losing everything plus way more because the it was unbelievable the, the things that were going wrong luck-wise. Like just pure like that is just dumb luck that just that I just experienced over and over. I mean, how do I get aces cracked three times in one night all by the same person? That's when I was just like, this is, I'm doing everything, everything right. And because I'm doing it right, it's really very bad for me right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's all it really was. And I'm like, oh, well, that's what it is. So I really wish I didn't like this game, but I do. I love it. And that's just, I'm always going to do it. And the other day I was telling you guys, I play, so a few days ago i played an online tournament and it was it's all funny money but as you get up there people actually do take it seriously which is good it's an online tournament it was like a um it's like 130 people and i got like i got like i think i got like 12th place which isn't bad and then a few days later i did one it was like 148 people in this tournament and i got second place and you know you get consistent numbers like that you start to realize well maybe i'm okay at this you know what i mean but then it doesn't matter when you lose everything because you know what you know look at this getting raided by in the little wood aka martin martin how are you buddy king crusty the 500 bitties thank you so much king crusty husky with 169 bits if you're hanging out with beef is it for official business f-i-s-h i love it martin thank you for that raid my friend Thank you for that, Ray, dude. Uh, I don't, again, this is another classic situation. If there's any chance you don't know who Martin is, then what, what are you, what's happening right now? How's that possible? Um, you know, the only problem with this glass, I guess I could always do the dirt there, but anyways, okay, that's what we're going to put. We're going to leave the black. The problem is there's going to be a good amount of light coming up because of the torches in there. Well, that's, that's a tomorrow me problem. Uh, let's give a shout out to Martin if we haven't yet. If there's any chance you don't know who Martin is. Uh, Martin is the person who I personally deem as top tier um, from a post-production standpoint. I haven't seen anybody give TLC to their videos post-production, uh, in post rather, the way Martin does. And I've seen some great stuff. Mustache Cat says, Skiz, I'm so glad you joined Hermitcraft. When I started watching you in 2021, you instantly became one of my favorite YouTubers. Congrats, buddy. Cat, thank you. Thank you for that. How sweet are you? 
I gotta stretch because sometimes the body stretches and then it hurts the neck. Tiny tell me the 200 bits. In case I got such a weird flashback to 2019 when I saw the title of your video and almost it's almost exactly the same as the title of Green's eighth Hermitcraft episode ever pranked and progress versus what did I call mine today pranks and progress and his was called pranked and progress I did not know that I really wish you didn't tell me that <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> Oh boy. Well, you know, great minds. That's all I can give that one. Rob says, I'd rather be lucky than good. You're not wrong in poker. You're not wrong, especially in poker. I should say, okay, let's, let's light this place up a little bit. Something tells me actually, no assistant sleep master. Boom. I'd rather be both. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I actually do think I'm pretty good at poker. If I was also lucky, I would be what they call unstoppable. That'd be great. No, you can't. There's no There's no such thing as somebody just being lucky. There's people like they who have luck streaks, and I've had them too. I've had them too. I sat at a table one time, and it was a it was like a a, a joke tournament type thing. I mean, it was for money, but whatever. It was it was kind of a joke. I sat at this table. I could, I, yeah, I couldn't, I didn't know what I was dealing with because typically I'll sit at a table and like two hours goes by. I can't, I can't even get a, I can't get a pocket pair. I can't even hit the, I can't hit the board. I can't get any sets. doesn't matter what story I tell. It's not going to work when they're hitting boats and, 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 and straights and flushes and, and boats or boats and straights and flushes and all that stuff. Four of a kind, everyone will be like quads. I, I can't, I can't tell a story when they're hitting that stuff. You know what I mean? I can only tell the story if they're hitting one one pair, maybe two pair, but they're going to be hitting stuff like that. It's nothing I'm going to do, right? That's typically how it is. And I mean, while I can't hit anything to save my life, I, I have nothing to work with over and over and over. Okay, that's okay. But one night I sat down, I was given ace king suited. I was given ace queen suited. Then I was given kings. Then I was given, I believe, jacks. Then I was given uh, another ace queen suited, and then another ace king suited. Then I was just like, "What is happening?" And I was playing them correctly, so I was winning every single pot. You know what I mean? You you get hands like that, you you got to get it down to one person and go to battle with one person and get their money. That's how it works. I was getting, I was doing it all right, and I just kept getting. I was, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe. It. What's the luckiest you've been in poker? That that was the moment. That was the luckiest I've ever been. That was the luckiest I've ever been. Okay, I'm just walking back and forth. We have to focus here. Um, let me think. What do I want to put on the top of this thing? It's got to be temporary and it's got to be easy to break. I want to start to enclose this in. All right, start to set this up. Honestly, ideally, what I'd really like to do is get this into a state to where while I'm away, maybe I can work on the server from my laptop. That would be great. What is this? well scaffolding the light's gonna come through. I want no light. Dirt's okay. Dirt's pretty fast. Dirt's probably the way to go. Let's do dirt. Dirt's the way to go. Light travels through scaffolding, right? Am I crazy? Don't answer that. Light travels through scaffolding. There's my dirt. Let's do I like the dirt idea. Well I do. Problem is, look what I'm doing here. Look what I'm doing. This is how it happens, everybody. Look at this. See this? You think you think I'm gonna be able to find this skull later? I don't think so. Now let's go. Oh, nether rack would be good. God, would it be so ugly though? Even though it's temporary. Not like dirt looks much better. Then again, hold on. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, this is a break too. We're good. Okay, hypno cover me in diamonds. Well, this song is weird. Why don't I carry scaffolding on me? Why do I do this to myself? All right, we're going to fill this in. This is all temporary. All tempy dempy.
This, this is this is a big. You know what? I got Swift Sneak. Why am I doing it like this? I have Swift Sneak on. What's my problem? Hey! Don't be that guy. Up. Oh, hold on. Oh, grass would look cool. We should, yeah, like a roof garden. It'll even it'll be temporary. We'll put one grass block up here when we're done, and uh, then it'll spread. Yeah, that'll be cool. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, put some torches up here. It's gonna be a complete mob farm at night. Well, then again, a lot of places are, but thankfully people sleep and stuff. Ooh, what was that one? Serious dedication. Oh, that's the that's the thing we just talked about. Why is everybody getting that today? Why are people getting netherite hose? What is that about? MP's birthday is soon. It's coming up here. Anytime it's one of our birthdays, we always we typically text the other person and we say, What's today? <laughs> and and what are we channeling when we say that? Huh? What's today? You can tell me what we're channeling. What what movie are we talking about? What's today? <laughs> it's that'd be too hard to get. That'd be too hard to get. If anybody gets that, that would be sick. Not my little pony. <laughs> Did you guys that time I was doing a uh oh my gosh, Axiom got it Friday. That's right. You got it. Very good. Not Braveheart. Get this for me for my birthday. What's today? Is that your birthday? <laughs> no, no, he says, is that your birthday? And then he says, what's today? <laughs> That's what it is. So it goes, come on, get this. He says, get this to me for my birthday. Is that your birthday? What's today? <laughs> that was Ezel. Oh, I love Friday. That was your first Chris Tucker movie. You know, Chris Tucker is, in my opinion, so I had, like, he is one of the funniest people on screen people, cinema wise, uh, I've ever seen, ever. And his his ability to embody whatever role's been given to him is, is second to none. The, what he did with Ruby Rod in uh, The Fifth Element, oh my gosh, so good. And he's just so good at everything he does, you know, when he does that. His stand-up, I thought, was pretty funny. Not very funny. Like, I didn't think it was, like, it's kind of weird how that works because, like, my, my favorite is Jim Carrey, but not necessarily his stand-up. You know what I mean? It was it was always cinema-based. Then you get to somebody who's a terrible actor, like Seinfeld, but his stand-up is, because um, he's never he was never trying to be a good actor, but his stand-up is so good. You know, it's crazy how that works, man. Seinfeld just, like, has such an understanding of, like, like, the science of comedy that that's probably why I love him. Corbin, Corbin, mommy. Uh, I don't feel right. Corbin. You don't like Seinfeld? Haley Buns. I love his stand up. I love the show and I, and I love the stand up. What's the deal? I know he gets so much static for his delivery, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, I don't want to be a pirate. That's, I think that was the first episode I ever saw. You're going to be the first pirate, but I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> How did Skiz just restock his hot bar with dirt? Just a middle click. Watch. What you do is you point, you point at something. Okay. And I'm just going to push down on the mouse wheel, click like a double click. And what it does is if I have dirt in my inventory, it'll place it in your hand. Game changer. Seinfeld is hilarious. The show is great. His stand-up is great. I gotta itch my eyeball. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. Hold on. Ah! Jeez! Yeah, cheek! Okay. Is what is your all-time top three movies? Very good question. Uh, I can give you two right away. 
Uh, American Beauty is my favorite of all time. So it's it's a movie that is it's so good. I don't watch it, right? I know that sounds weird, but another like this is not one of my top th three. But Click, it was such a good movie that I can't. It was too it was too much for me. I I, I can only watch. It, I can only handle it the one time. Um, American Beauty, I have seen it several times, and I love it every time. But it's one of those things where if that's on, I can't pay attention to anything else. Um, I'm also a huge Matrix fan. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. How can I love two movies that are so vastly different? And my answer is that they're very similar. And I remember I said to somebody, they're like, are you outside of your mind, American Beauty and The Matrix? I'm like, they're, they've got a lot of similarities, man. From an energy standpoint, they to, to me, my opinion, but the bottom line is both of them have to do with succumbing to being trapped in a routine that is so against everything that the human stands for. You know what I mean? They're, they're both about that. Huh? Think about it. Think about it. While I take a little nappy poop. Matrix is great. Okay, what's about a third one? Um... I love movies, man. Uh, what would be an, a great third one? Dude, it is dark in here. Um, God, I love so many movies. I, I'm just going to name a bunch of movies that I absolutely love. Shawshank Redemption is a great movie. Um, Obviously, I like Friday. I mean, there's so many great movies, but in terms of like the classics and like, wow, that was amazing. I'll tell you this. This one is almost like... It was more like more of a gratifying thing, I suppose, but so powerful was Law Abiding Citizen. You ever see that one, dude? Ooh, ooh, ooh Goodwill Hunting, that's a good one, dude. I love Goodwill Hunting. You ever see Law Abiding Citizen? You know what I'm talking about. Oh. No? That one. Oh, Forrest Gump is so good. What's my favorite series? Oh, I got a lot of those too. I love Ah. I mean, if you consider Game of Thrones a series, that's one of my favorites. Black Mirror is so good. Black Mirror is something that, 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 that is something I can only want anything with Hanks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Black Mirror is something that is so good that, uh, I, that I can only handle one episode at a time. Right. Oh, you know what else is good? You said stranger than fiction. I'm not. I don't haven't seen that one. Pitch Perfect's good. Pulp Fiction. Really, really like Pulp Fiction. So good. Ted Lasso is that that's easily one of my favorite series to ever exist. Is Ted Lasso. That show was so well done. So beautifully put together. I've not seen Doom. Thoughts on Star Trek. Um, I'm not a giant Trekkie, but I do I have relatively um decent familiarity with uh, Next Generation. And I really liked it. I really did. I really liked it. The stories were so good. And, believe it or not, and I'm not caught up, but the Orville, which is a playoff, and I'm such a huge Seth MacFarlane fan, that the Orville was great. Basketball's too funny. That's another one of our movies. Ours meaning, like, Dippled Up and I, like, we just, uh, we saw that movie for the first time together, and we were just dying laughing. Okay, so Lord of the Rings. I'm going to tell you this about Lord of the Rings. Have I seen the Warriors? I don't know what that is. So Lord of the Rings is, I like them a lot. I really, really do. But I feel like I would really be able to enjoy that stuff if I would read the books. I've never tried to read the books. But I'll tell you this. I love Game of Thrones. I tried to read Game of Thrones. I couldn't do it. I have not watched. I've watched one episode of Severance, and I didn't even finish it. But I'm going to tell you this. It was not by design. I watched one, like, I was partway through it. And I'm like, I'm coming back to this. Because something happened. I had to, like, get back to life or whatever. It, I came back, and I was just like, dude, this severance, what a concept. So it's something I want to get back to. I don't think I saw what dreams may come. Was that no one ever remembers the show? Do you remember? Of course I remember Fraggle Rock. But you have to keep in mind, I'm also a thousand years old, right? Okay, Tom, with the new Prime sub, thank you so much. And then we got the girls, the girls that love me. It's easy over way to love a heavy D. Heavy D3 with the 42 months, you're amazing. 
Thank you very much. If you guys don't understand, I was just quoting a song from the early 90s. Uh, we got Soup Can with 100 Biddies. How's Big Salmon doing? You and Beef are constantly living in my head rent-free. <laughs> Same with the fan art of you too. I love the fan art coming out. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the Big Salmon gig with, uh, with Beef and I. I'm just loving it. Oh, boy. Okay, get this going here. Oh, no, no, no. You would love what dreams may come, but you will blow your eyes out. And that's, I'm going to tell you that right too, okay? So I don't like to be sad in movies. And I know that that's like, there's certain genres of movies. Like I don't like to, I don't like horror. I don't like, I don't like fear-based movies. Um, I, I, to this day, I don't get it. I don't understand why people do. And I know that I'm kind of in the minority. A lot of people like scary movies. I fear is not a pleasant feeling. I don't know why people pay money to go feel it. I don't get it, but that's okay. That's each their own. Honestly, part of me wishes I did. It's like, it must be like a rush to them or something, but I just don't get it. Right. So same thing with sad movies, right? Because let me see movies stay with me. Okay. Movies very much stay with me. What do I mean by that? So to me, the sixth sense was very, very scary. And for people who are connoisseurs of like scary movies, they don't think it's scary at all. But I have an extremely active imagination and I'm not suggesting that people who like scary movies don't. What I am suggesting is that movies stick with me. So if I watch like, like Nightmare on Elm Street, great classic scary movie from whatever, from the eighties or whatever, uh, it, I'll, I'll get jump scared. Jump scares will get me, but it doesn't stick with me later. It's the stuff where there's a realm of possibility that really does it. Yeah. And that's how I am. Like if it's got a realm of, of actual possibility, then I have the capacity to get pretty frightened. Um, and it sticks with me like for a while. Same thing with sad movies. It's why I've only seen click once. Click is a very, very powerful movie. And I encourage a lot of people to watch it. I really do. Because, what are you doing? Three? Every three? One, two, one, two, three, go. Um, Click is a very powerful movie. If you haven't seen it, I don't want to give anything away, but let me just put it this way. The, to me, the message was loud and clear. Loud and clear. And uh, it just made me realize how fast time goes. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, in any case, I... Um, this, this stuff sticks with me, right? So it's Adam Sandler. Yeah, and he was magnificent in it. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. I like Adam Sandler. I do. I like his comedy. But to me, it's for me, it's all about... Um, it quite literally, it comes down to uh, his dramas. His dramas are the best to me. That's just me, though. So when, like, Spanglish was so good. I don't know if you guys seen Spanglish, but that was so good. Um, I think, I think he's actually a very talented actor, not just for, you know, silly stuff. There we go. Got kind of lucky with this one, two, three business. I wasn't really thinking that through. Good. All right. Let's do a little bit in here now. Good. Yep. 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 If it's going to be this ugly dirt. And at the very least, I mean, I'll, I'll do, I'll put the, a block of grass up here, but if it's going to be this ugly dirt, then at the very least, might as well have a nice grid pattern up here. Will a grass, will a block turn to grass if there's a light, if there's a torch on it? I feel like it will. So here's the movie I'm going to tell you right now. I will never watch again. <sighs> if, if sad movies affect me the way they do, then what movie do you think Skiz just will never watch again? I wonder if anybody can just guess it. First guess, D-Man, Marley and me. And not even the first one to say it. Marley and me, all day long. I will never watch it again, ever. That freaking movie took me so long to recover from because I've because it hit so close to home. Like we literally, literally need to start talking about something else right now. <laughs> that is the truth. That's the absolute truth. 
three, bop, one, two, three, bop, one, two, three, bop, and bop. Okay. Now we still have this fella here though. Right? Right? I mean, it's really just a square. Why did I have to get so technical about this? Yeah, Marley and me. It'll never happen again. I'll never watch it again. And that, you know, can you imagine being a creator, being a writer and a director where you're so good? Like, I'm going to build a movie that pulls at the heartstrings and you realize you're so good at it. People swear off your movie to, like, they swear off to ever watch your movie ever again. <laughs> right? You want to hear the bop song? That'll, that's a good idea. That let's Let's change the pace a little bit. Oh, we got to get going too. We're going to do bop and we're going to wrap it up. I, I would stick around longer, but I have other things I got to do. Ooh, way to go. Good job. All right, are you going to bop it up? I can bop if you want to. Let's go. You can bop if you want to. You can leave all friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. You can bop if you want to. You can leave all friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 You can bop, 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 You can bop, 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 Wait. Oh! My guy. You can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. We got a green. You can leave your friends behind. We're bopping right now. don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 Oh, nice. Bop, 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 You can bop, bop, bop. Coming in with bop, 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 bop. Take more torches. You can bop, 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 bop. You can bop if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. What's up, G? What you doing, buddy? So he never undeafens. He comes in here. He stares at you. With those. You wanna? <laughs> you wanna? You you wanna see a spoiler? I'm streaming right now. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, that's why I called it a spoiler. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's do it. How long is it going to take? I hate to be that guy, but how long is it going to take? Oh, it uh, sounds like quick. Short. Okay, okay, show me. Well, you've already seen the permit office. I have. I've got I've got the final piece of the puzzle. Okay. Oh, you sure you want to do um, this? Are you sure you want to do I'm this on gonna, my stream? I'm going to have to put you on hold. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely fantastic. I'm drumming it, dude. Ouchie! Another one. Yeah. That is great. Do you know what's worse? The, the worst thing about this is that it's it's good, but it goes on for five minutes, and by the end of it, you're like, this needs to end. That's how that's how whole music <laughs> works, dude. <laughs> dude, that is fantastic, man. Yeah, I had that uh, the permit office, uh, you know, was 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 in my clip today, and I just think it's so beautiful, man. It's it's. I was telling G, his design on the permit office was so good that the second I walked in, I was pissed off. Like it, like <laughs> that's exactly what he was going for, and I'm this, and I instantly, like I I just went in, and I was instantly upset. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, this is what we're going for, man. I'm so familiar with that that energy. How you feeling, G? Yeah, okay. Yeah, not too bad. I just can't catch a break. No, you can't. And I, and I, I you, you know, it's not my business, but, but I'm going to start bossing you around, dude. I'm, I'm worried about your health, man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> actually, too. you know what? I'm off to the doctor. Bye-bye. All right, buddy. Hopefully he goes. I doubt he will, but let's all hope that he does. 
All right, so let me do this and light this up. I don't really need to have a mob farm inside this thing. And I think we're gonna do a lot of glow lichen. This is great, man. Okay, we're getting this thing ready and I gotta plug up that too. Oh, I wanna put up, I wanna put up, I gotta get going, I gotta go film. But I wanna put up a grass block real quick. I know I've got it, I think I've got grass. Somebody had silk touch when they were helping me dig. Up, oh, there it is, there we go. That's how I know I'm getting a little bit better. Right? Is that I was able to open that for a fraction of a second. You guys are familiar with how many times that you've had to be like, uh, Skiz, you open that chest, you're looking for whatever it is, and we see it over and over again. Why can't you see it? I'm getting a little bit better about being able to see when I open chests, but I still, ultimately, I still suck at it. But we're working on it. Okay, so let's put one grass block in here, a little bit of the bop, and, uh, and there, there you go. Just one. That's all it takes. I really should have done the center. I don't know what the center is. Is this it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the center, but I'm not going to do it when there's a torch there. Yes, I am. Right here. There we go. This fella here. That is the starter block. And you know, I'm so much so. Up. Oh, oh, he wins. This guy just beats you, little guy. He's like, well, I just got here. And I'm like, that's, I don't need excuses. Okay. I need results. And this guy over here, he's like looking at him. He's like, God, you suck. Meanwhile, this guy's like, Argh! he's trying to push out the guy. I wish, boy, I personify everything else. Let's call it, let's call it there. Um, all right, let's see if we can make that jump into the water again. Cause it's neat. Oh, wait, hold on. Are right, you ready for a Leroy Jenkins, everybody? Leroy Jenkins. Ooh. There we go. Okay, that was good. That was good. Here's the deal. That's a, that's a typical skiz stream. We didn't make is like a ton of progress, but it's not about that. It's about smiles and laughter and thinking. Okay, skiz is going mentally insane. <laughs> uh, all right, I like what's happening. All right, we got to get out of here. And now I'm gonna click on this thing. And we and by the way, I'm just gonna put this out there. We didn't drop a single packet today, everybody. Not one. We didn't drop one. Look at that glare. What are you doing that for? All right, you guys are amazing. Uh, let's look for who we're gonna raid. I'm gonna click on that guy right there. And we're looking around. And again, I have to, oh, did it actually? Interesting. Oh, I mean, how can I not? We had an amazing back and forth of them. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm sending you to. But now, oh, he must have just ended. It says it's offline. <laughs> now he's offline. Never mind. Uh, all right. Let's see. Not G. I was talking about X. Um. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Of course, we're going to send you on over to Hypno. Click. I'm going to load you guys up. And I'm going to tell you guys, thank you for all the amazingness. Soup can, bat cat, blue cat, bat cat again. I cry at every single movie. Not sure what that says about me. <laughs> like crying at the Lego movie. That's amazing. Credit the original bar. That means that you're, you can get, you can connect. Nerdy t-shirts and dancy robot. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support and all the love. Thanks for hanging out with me here and having a good time. I know I'm having a good time. And uh, I'll see you. I should see you tomorrow. So until next time, be good, be good to each other. Today or not, but...